charges towards you as he takes a few steps back okay. and knocks into you. No, evasive maneuvers. So I like you can't see from from your angle right now, but Brian McDougal's head height is really unfortunate. Or is it? Or is it? Oh god damn it. What's he charging with, you know? Hey, a filthy lot. We're now Questline D&D. Welcome to episode 50 of One Shot or Not. Today we'll be playing in the Abyss. We're going to back to the Underdark and Out of the Abyss, episode three. Last time we left our heroes on a bit of a cliffhanger. They got away from the Demogorgon in Slubadop and made their way to the surface finally, finally escaping the Underdark as they encountered a dwarven army led by Brunor Battlehammer himself as he charged them each with going back into the Underdark. Uh, having uh, run away from the Demogorgon in a panic, they, our heroes, the Mayo Clinic perhaps, yes. uh, have encountered uh, a very famous king, a dwarven king, Brunor Battlehammer, as he uh, has brought an army to go back into the Underdark to face whatever threat has come. His Seers have warned of a great threat that's down there and just happened to be going into the entrance of the Underdark that you were coming out of and has recruited you all, uh, especially because Ildith is uh, such an important part of his royal guard, to go and go back into the Underdark and fight for a foothold, try and get Mantle Dareth back from these forces of uh, demonic chaos as uh, you assume the role. Everyone's willing to go back with you, uh, from Prince Darendel to Jim Jar, who's gonna make a bet about getting back out again, if they ever get back out again. Uh, Ildith uh, at the head of this army, helping to lead it down, uh, and uh, some of our fallen fellows th throughout the way. Going down, uh, you spend a month's journey getting to Mantle Dareth, and assessing what you need to do. And as you kick off on the battle night, uh, I'll leave it with Hobart Kincaid to start us off. How does this battle go for you? Immaculate. Serving in a royal guard is what Hobart Kincaid might have been born to do. Um, leading the charge out, uh, Darendil never far from me, always on my back. I just uh, raise my, the hammer, the Dawnbringer, into the sky, and before the army, uh, just this cascade of light just comes out, um, washing over our foes. And as they reel back uh, their eyes, like uh, from this. Uh, tremendously bright light, as bright as the sun, I just sunder three or four with the mighty Dawnbringer. Um, now uh, pushing aside one as they go for Darinil with the Pariah Shield. Um, and as I do that, I turn around and I see Brian McDougal. <laughs> I believe in you. With some bardic inspiration. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, you, you feel like the light of Dawnbringer surrounding your party, giving you good vibes. Like you feel the energy coming off of this the connection, your love knows no bounds, mm -hmm. uh, especially having Darendil on your back, who's uh, picked up a bit of a, an eating habit, has like a huge sack of like unshelled peanuts that he's just going through as you're fighting. Run, you go, my liege. You're doing great. God. Save me what? <laughs> just kidding. My prince, you eat as you please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as the battle progresses, you fight through the front gates, uh, Seeing that like the armies are spread out, uh, very disorganized, you seem to have caught them off guard. And you know that the spies that accompanied the army, uh, the dwarven spies, disguised themselves like Duragar, infiltrated the city and helped sow discord. And that's why the battle's going like really well for you so far. You get through that front gate, no problem. As Brian, what happens in the middle of this battle for you? Well, Brian, donning his sexiest sailor outfit, has been giving inspiration to all the troops, singing and giving wonderful poetry as they go along, and at the same time, zeroing in on some spies and then doing a little bit of psychic damage, whispering some words into their mind about how pathetic they are, about how their mothers never truly loved them, and they should just really give up now, curl up into a ball and turn to stone. And when that doesn't work, you hand out a business card. Yes, <laughs> exactly. I'm also here to give out my business cards. I do bar mitzvahs, <laughs> I do birthday, I do schmagamorg, 
Whatever the holiday is, I'm here. You just like tap like one of the dwarves and like full plate, massive hammer. They're trying to swing it around. You're just like, excuse me, and you hand them the card. Hi, I'm Brian, Brian McDougal, take my card. And by the way, everything you love and care about is going to die. <laughs> I will strip it all from you, bye. You see like the, some of like the, uh, the drow and the uh, actual Jirgar in the background, their heads explode as psychic energy impales their bodies and they cannot comprehend that which is Brian McDougal. Yes, a little uh, bit of nose blue coming up. As the battle progresses, you hear from, like, you hear from the front lines uh, where uh, Hobart Kunkaid is uh, fighting his way through the thick of it. Uh, you hear that the fight's going well. They've discovered that one of the demon lords is inhabiting a crystal, but it's about to be uh, the ritual that's to bring this demon lord out of this crystal is about to complete when shooting from the parapets, we have Skogamore. And yeah. of course, your little doggo. Morgus. Morgus. Yeah. So uh, yeah, during the battle, um, I'm on the ramparts. I've uh, spent the time over the last month of getting to, uh, to the city. Um, honing my craft as an artificer to teach some of the other dwarves how to make their own blunderbusses. Uh, little rifle regiment, as, as you will. And, uh, you know, we're just snipe, sniping and taking pot shots and uh, trying to punch, punch our way through that way. Amazing, yeah. Like, taking up different positions, helping the army progress, giving them that sniping advantage to watch their back for spellcasters and the like. You see that the ritual is nearing completion. You take your shot and you take out one of the spellcasters but it's not enough. You see the ritual completing as four of their hands reach towards the crystal as Alan. Alan? <laughs> there He's in the nick of time. <laughs> <laughs> as one of our companions, Ashari Richt, steps out from the ether and smashes into the crystal. Um, with uh, not one, not two, but um, all six of his hands, uh, he takes hold of the crystal shard, raises it above his head, and smashes it with all of his might against uh, the rocks. You can see, like, as you're, as you're reaching for this, this crystal and you go to make impact with it, the other hands trying to complete this ritual as you get there, you can see Fraz Urs, uh, one of the uh, demon lords, reaching through so close, having been trapped in this crystal since getting here to this plane. You smash it and stop the ritual from happening as you see spider webs encase him and pull him back into the abyss. <sighs> Sorry, sorry, it's just demon smoke uh, from the, the crystal or whatever. Hey. Uh, yeah, it's done. I thought you were dead. Did you have six limbs before? I don't remember that. Uh, yes I was, and no I didn't. Oh. You hear the call of victory going out across, and you see that the remaining drow and Durgar are kind of just holding their heads as they're looking around like, what just happened? Something influencing them was shattered as they begin to reel back. Many of them are killed in the moment. Other commanders, noticing that they are confused, begin to take captives uh, as you reconnect a little bit. Amazing timing, my friend. How did you return from beyond? Um, well, I didn't go like too far beyond. Uh, like I was beyond for sure, but like I didn't go like, like all the way uh, because um, our uh, uh, reverent lady and mistress Loth was there to say hello, um, and she appointed me with a great and mighty and noble task. Um, I'm of uh, two minds uh, about it, but at the same time, you know, uh, I recognize a good deal when I see one, so, uh, you know, here I am. You're on the Loth train, huh? Well, yeah, uh, well, one might even say I'm like a conductor, but you know, it's just. Okay, okay, okay this one, very important. Which hand do I shake and which one do I high five? <clears throat> um, you see uh, like the four appendages coming out of his back just kind of fold away. Just... Oh, kind of like... disgusting. Uh, just, they're just kind of like, they're not, they haven't like 
disappeared, but they're socketed into like oh, even worse in his back. Yeah, <laughs> um, and I just go, uh, uh, you know, Jessica, oh. and then uh, uh, all right, okay, just the two. That's normal. Okay, I can. I'll be fine. With uh, that. Skookumar, you do some quick math and realize there are eight limbs on uh, Ashari's body, not six. Six hands, two legs. Whatever these kind of appendage things are from their back, yeah, there are four on the back, and then arms and legs. So to a total of 10 limbs. No, no, eight. Oof. Eight limbs. Eight. eight limbs. Eight limbs. Holy smokes. Um, eight, eight limbs, uh, depending on who you ask. But like, mostly, mostly just the eight. Do you have pedipalps? Do I have hoota hoots? Mm. Pedipalps? Pedipalps? Oh, um, as so those I, come out too. Uh, as I like smile and open my mouth, mm-hmm. you see like my like my eye teeth just kind of. Uh, oh, disgusting! With that divine sense. Good or evil, I would like to detect, um, or celestial fiend or undead within sixty feet of me. Don't think you're any of those. I'm not any of those. Yeah. Uh, well, whatever, like drow. whatever, yeah, whatever. B- Blessings were bestowed upon me. You might get a you might get an essence from that kind of energy, mm-hmm. and I don't know what that would be. Uh, but yeah, not divine sense. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, well, the gang's back together again. It's good to have you back. Smiling. <laughs> oh, I can. I just put him back. I just <laughs> somewhere I'm... on the surface world, uh, a very happy changeling is feeding the masses mayonnaise. Therapy mayonnaise. Oh, I miss the mayonnaise. I don't. <laughs> What's <They're new>. mayonnaise? <laughs> oh, you've missed so much. Okay, so we got away. We uh-huh. met a new friend. Uh-huh. Our little micro, micro, my micro need, my 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 seeded, my oh mushroom people. Yeah. They turned into a giant mushroom and exploded oh. ooze everywhere. The, the I got a bad ooze. massive come down from it. So. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. Um. He fucks a sword now, but it's turned into a hammer. It's uh-huh. not like that. It's not I'm like sorry. That. I'm just trying to be. Hey, hey, there's no shame in the game. I'm a spider. Um, <laughs> met a cool changeling and a jar of mayonnaise. We got to the service and. Sorry, was the jar of mayonnaise sentient? Like you met the jar of mayonnaise? No, it was a magical item introduced, I think, by chat. Uh, Is he still eating on <laughs> Sir Hobart's back? Uh, D- uh, Darren is like. I, I drank like three liters of it. <laughs> and you know, it's like, he's gotten pretty chunky over this like last month. A nice little- Living richly. Okay. Reservoirs of It's lost very like soft pounds. on your back. <laughs> like a little pillow for you, like mid battle, just like, oh, it's fine. But I'm right here, you do the thing. Yeah. I just <laughs> lean in. Right, Brian's gone a little mad. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> not fine. wearing any silver, right? Yeah, that's okay. Um, uh, you see Ildith uh, uh, Feldspar approaching uh, someone uh, that looks like a drow all tied up as she throws him in front of you all and then tosses a few gold coins to Jim Jar. Yeah, you were right. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> well, we have um, someone for you to interrogate. Some information you might need out of this one. Oh, oh who's this? Um, it- you see this, this drow looking... You can't beat the Shadow Collective. We, we. <laughs> and like, Ildith like just presses down on his neck, mm-hmm. pushing harder. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, as uh, she releases, uh, he looks back at all of you. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but somehow you destroyed the gem. Yeah, I did that. Um, so you, sorry, let me get this straight. You defected from the great web of the dark m- 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 mistress, or? You quickly notice that his eyes are not red. Mm. Oh, that's a shame. Um, uh, do you have anything to say in p- 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 penance? <laughs> You'll never figure this out. You'll... I don't think you can even make it to Graven Hollow in time. Okay. Um, I am going to like uh, withdraw two of my arms and uh, I'm gonna like concentrate on them until you start to see them like seep with like a, a, a v- 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 venomous b- 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 bile and I'm just going to <laughs> Okay, so 
this will kill you eventually. Um, and I can make it stop. But in order for that to happen, you need to tell them and me what uh, we want to know, okay? And Don Bringer knows if you're lying. And I will cast Zone of Truth as it like <laughs> smashes the ground like a inch from his face. The truth shall be now! Can I just pull out Mage Hands to tickle him? <laughs> I'll tickle you to a submission! <laughs> the poison! The, the, the truth! <laughs> you want the truth? <laughs> They can't, they can't handle the truth. They're gonna lose their mind. Oh, we all love it, baby. <laughs> now right under the armpits. <laughs> well, that's really effective. Good job with that. Thanks. Go to Graven Hall then. See if you can stop this. There's more of us. There's more of them. How many? They're all here. All of them. Every demon lord has been brought forth and they're going to destroy everything. How are they bringing, being brought and forth? He goes to try and answer you, but his mouth begins to foam up. All right, fine. And I, uh, and, uh, ad administer an antidote. While you were antidote to- I fight. find that disgusting. <laughs> you Sorry, zone of truth. <laughs> <laughs> You quickly notice that uh, he's broken one of his teeth. Yeah. It's beginning to disintegrate from the inside out. Oh. Uh, Cast yeah. restoration? Nope. Uh, Revival fire? <laughs> <laughs> you have that in. Well, we'll have to wait for a little bit. Roll an arcana check. Anyone can check this. Cool. DC is 16. Have a I have a banana. I wasn't sure if roll, roll sh banana. Sorry, Reese. Go need banana. A banana. I st it's still a banana. Okay. Five dollars. <laughs> Twelve. Nope. Two. Nope. Three. No. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, brain. Mysteries of the arcane are unknown to the three of you. Yes. <laughs> it's rolling. Ah, uh, eleven. Wow. Nobody Adam knows what the spell is, but it certainly turns you to ash. Shit. Oh, no. Stop that. <laughs> no, he's gone. <laughs> Elder looks at the rest of you. Well, I suppose it's time for you to go to Graven Hollow. We're going to set up shop here and create a foothold. I have someone that might know the way. And she, like, kicks Jim Jar. <laughs> hey, that wasn't our bet. Fine, fine. I'll take you to Graven Hollow. This once. But if you go crazy, that's your own fault. Why would we go crazy? Ildith, I'll bet them, I bet you that Brian goes even more insane. Okay, that's not a fair bet. We all know that's, I, I'm well on my way. They okay? shake it. Ah, thank you. Fine, I'm gonna bet against that to myself. Mm. I'm not gonna go more crazy. What are you betting? Hey! Uh, and I have a cute little sailor hat. The hat? Oh, oh, if you're betting the hat, um, um, I will bet you hmm, this really interesting hat that I took off of the people in Slip It Up. Oh, a hat for hat? I mean, this one's more, okay. I was expecting something higher, but you know what you gotta do. Do I have a sealer hat? I mean, yeah, it's a bet. <laughs> uh, and you head out on an expedition to find Graven Hollow, a Legendary magical library said to contain great truths about many things. Mm. Jim Jar somehow knows the way, and it takes you a little over a month to get there. Okay. As you approach like this this stony rock wall, it's like, well, this is it. I know we've been eating a lot of mushroom burgers lately, but I promise the food's way better in here. Oh, what kind of city is it? Oh, um, well, um, yeah, so here's the hard part. Hmm? Each of you are going to have to um, give something up to get in. But I gave up my cute hat. No, that was a bet, and we haven't got there yet. You still haven't gone mad. Oh, well, yeah, I don't give it time. Didn't you bet against it? Yes, I, I just want everybody to win. I'm just happy that we're all involved. Yeah, involved. <laughs> What have you decided to give up? If it's not enough, they're going to extract a price from you. So think of something good that you want to give up. Otherwise, they're just going to decide for you. Mm. Uh, Can we give it away in private? 
<laughs> um, yes. Good. Look, I'll go first and show you how it's done. Um, cured hint to Craven Hollow, and I really don't want to give this up, but you can have my favorite green book of recipes. It produces like this really ratty, like fetid green grimoire that he presents to the wall as it takes it in and you see him step through the stone. Okay, I have I have this idea. I haven't really talked about this yet, but um, my friend over here, Scuttlemore, he has a really cool lolf tattoo on his face and which made me very jealous. And not to be outdone, it's looking good. Brian got his own tattoo, but instead of a spider, it's a trashy tribal stamp um, butterfly uh, right here. So he goes up to the wall and says, you can have my beautiful new tattoo. The wall looks at the tattoo, and you can feel like this ethereal hand that no one else can see brush against it. And you hear in your mind, yes, this will suffice. We'll put this trashy tattoo on record. Anyone can have it. Well, enjoy. I think it does better on the lower back and probably that face with the. <laughs> You'll see like this, like pink and like green and purple mist, like swirl around Brian for a moment as his tattoo disappears, and a door that only you can see opens <gasps> that allows you to walk through. Amazing. Can I just go without them, or should I wait? You should just go. Good luck, guys. Don't go. For <laughs> <laughs> Who's next? Um, okay. Uh, I withdraw uh, uh, like a prayer wheel of sorts, but in the shape of like a like a, a polyhedron, uh, and each each side is like a runic symbol in in the uh, drow language, um, and uh, in Blazing on the top of it is a spider of obsidian, and I just um, you offering this the newest model, fresh up the line from the abyss. I see Loth herself has touched this one. As the door opens for you as well. <laughs> yeah, you're, <laughs> you're still there. <laughs> Just behind the wall. <laughs> and I, uh, I, I enter. What do you do? Two left. I'll go last. Okay. Uh, so, <laughs> Skogamore goes up and, uh, inspired by the tattoo removal of, uh, Brian there, uh, goes up and tries to offer the, uh, wolf tattoo. On the face, saying it's uh, <laughs> highly prized, very collectible. It's uh, it's one of a kind. <laughs> <laughs> it certainly is. I can't take that from you. Well, but you cursed. And as you try to like offer it up, instead we'll be taking something else. Please roll a d4. Two. Two. Uh, please increase your misfire rate four on your blunderbuss as you enter inside. Oh. Ouch. Um, I'll just say Darendil just goes, does his own thing. Yeah, Darendil. Gives up his love of mayonnaise, who knows. Darendil <laughs> goes up. No, you, you don't speak true. That's not, no, no. <laughs> I, I am an elf. I really have done with the Prince of Elves. You can't, you can't do this to me. <laughs> he looks back to you. Darn. Takes a swipe at you and runs past. Uh, I don't think he's gonna hit. No, <laughs> 14. <laughs> yeah, these claws like scratch against your pariah shield as you hear them clang against it. You hear Don Gray go, oh, oh no, no, I can't, I can't stop that. Oh, more light. As he's like, shh, shh, shh. No, I got, sorry. See, so like, uh, as like uh, Dawnbringer literally brings the dawn and casts daylight. As you see Darendel begin to like burn away, he runs off into the distance. My lord, I, huh, what have we done? I, 
foul place. Duty to one prince or a king. Damn it. I've always wanted you all to myself anyway. Well, we all know how that conversation goes. <laughs> See, like, uh, for a moment, Don Bringer <laughs> shifts from being a hammer to being something entirely different. It's... Yes, private indeed. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we'll walk up. Oh I'll look kind gosh. of, like, longingly out as Darren Hill kind of takes off, kind of getting an impression. But, like, how much do I, like, I get he lost his mind because he wasn't willing to give up enough kind of thing, like... Never find him make, again. make the unsavable. He's my oath. I'm torn, Sam. <laughs> Two <laughs> plus four, six. Yeah, you, you're looking. He, that that little outburst that he displayed, was more than anything you've ever seen. He almost went feral. But if I lose him now, I'll never find him. But if I turn my back on my friends, then I'll dishonor my agreement with the king. One who is truly a king. Well, my friend and lover Dawnbringer, I suppose we're down here for keeps. I pledge here and now never to leave the abyss until I have once again reconnected with Tarantil. But there is much at risk here. And I'll place my hand on the wall and I will offer my, from around my neck, a key to the orphanage where I grew up. And I will offer my name, uh, Callum Talisun. My real name is not Hobart Kincaid. This oh, is a ruse that, and I will offer my That's former great. self. Check we this. love secret drama. <laughs> this is a great secret. More than just entry awaits you when you go. When you leave this place, I will have something for you as the door opens. Let's hope you are on See, your like, party. Brian's just, like, pressed up against the sky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! <Listening laughs> yeah. I felt drama! <laughs> I don't remember it. Did you give him your essence? I might have. I don't recall the last minute. <laughs> um, Darrendil will not be joining us. Oh, darn! I fear the prince has lost his mind and his way, I say as, like, the, it, like, closes <laughs> shut, and I longingly look out a tear <laughs> oh. like, streaming down my face. Oh, I just, like, taking a drink. Oh. <laughs> That's so sad. <laughs> well, you see, like Jim Dare looks look at you, gets in front of you. That's a bet. He <laughs> slaps himself. <laughs> My God! <laughs> Lost that one. <laughs> I've learned not to ask. <laughs> now, who's good at figuring out mazes? Uh, this isn't the maze. Oh. This is the is. Library of Gravenhall. Oh. Oh. As you... I can read. <laughs> as you reading? follow uh, Jim Jar's lead, you can see, like, uh, lanterns lighting up along the path. This magical fire igniting uh, in bright orange light uh, rolling out against the stone of this place. You see that it's ancient, and in places where it's beginning to fall away, you look down and see just a depth of hundreds of feet before it goes black. Hmm. As you continue to walk through this, what supposedly is a library, but all you've seen so far are stone and railings looking out over almost like an abyss. <gasps> That's the name of the movie. Let's <laughs> supposed to get out of here. <laughs> uh, as you travel for what feels like hours and hours, you get to finally portion of what that is, much like a library. However, above it all, like you can see where the books stretch out almost as if under like a, a patio and several gazebos that dotted along that are just massive in size. 
at the center of it all, you see a tower of different design. It looks to be made out of some sort of blue and gray stone that shimmers in the magical light. You're not really sure if it's doing that itself or if it's doing some trick to your eyes as a large door appears in the center of it and begins to open. What would you like to do? Who's doing that? Jim Torres. That's new. This one, this I, is... Um, well, that was not here last time. Jim Tar, I'm just gonna ask, who got to walk into a trap? I, I don't know, I didn't bet against any traps. You know, I mean, you know what? Let's remedy that. I'll bet you two spoons that this is not a trap. <gasps> oh, two spoons against what? Um, I could give you a, a lock of my scraggly hair. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Oh, okay, let's do it. You're like, I bet it is mind. a trap. Okay, and I, yeah, for your two spoons. Okay, okay. Uh, Jim Jar begins to like stroll forward towards the opening double door of this tower, this magical tower in the center of a library. You see spectral ghosts begin to form Yay. at the edges of your vision and begin to flip towards you. Why are you here? Yay. We seek knowledge. Those who seek knowledge have already paid the price. What knowledge would you like to receive? I would like to know how to break the curse. I, I mean, um, focusing. <laughs> We are seeking the knowledge of how to prevent the ritual to bring forth the demon lords. That can be arranged. And you see several other specters like fly off into the distance to go to different portions of the library. Please meet with our curator. And as it gestures forward, you see this lantern appear in his hand and this light shine out very brightly, all illuminating the path all the way as this drow steps out of the tower and walks towards you. It's about 60 paces away. Uh, what does this drow look like? Old. Mm. Very old. Uh, uh, of any... Easily pushing 700. Long robes with many intricate runes in undercommon, and you can see that they align with stars, which should not be down here. You see constellations that are familiar to each of you. And as you begin to mutter about it, you realize that each thing that you're seeing on this robe is different from each other. It's in this luxurious purple and gold and something magical as he steps forward. You can see also that his eyes are red and that there are spider webs also like kind of connecting his joints almost as he steps forth to you. Welcome, heroes. I knew you'd come eventually. I, I bow deep. Ah, you were right to bow. I'm not of my station. And you probably don't know who I am either. No, but um, I recognize that you are like, uh, well, not just old, but like also like of like renown in uh, the ladies' courts. So, yes, uh, our queen has announced you're coming. Oh. Well, well it's coming. And not to not to not be the center of attention, Brian goes, Hi! I'm Brian! Brian McDougal! Human sailor act of art. Yes. <laughs> Limp handshakes all around. <clears throat> you may call me Vizeran de Vier. Vizeran for short. Vizeran. Do not call me Viz or I'll shut your mouth for you. Oh! Okay, hostile. Who do you think the first person will be to call him that? As the person who has a point of met or insanity? Yeah. <laughs> Is there You're a... right, Jim Jar. I was wrong and have lost this bet. As he produces from his jacket this ornate dagger that uh, comes off into two curves. Uh, you can see that it's got like this green spiraling energy on it uh, that look like vines have entangled it as uh, Jinjar accepts the dagger. Thank you. I don't know who you are, but <laughs> great. Uh, for next time. <laughs> so, you're here to learn more about the demon lords that are plaguing this realm. Mm. I knew you'd be coming. Not, don't get me wrong, Jinjar did not bring you here. 
Does he know this? Far into the future is my sight. And I knew four heroes would arise that would be able to stop this threat. But we need a little bit more control. We need things, elements on our side. For if we want to send them all back at one time, we're gonna need a few things. As he then proceeds to list out over 20 items that you need to be able to acquire over the next six months. Now, if this was a campaign, we'd be doing just that, but we don't have time for that. Nobody have time for that. Why do you have so much? So I'm sending you directly to the heart of the matter. I have different agents looking after different portions of this ritual for me, but I need you to handle a crisis happening something called the Maze Engine. Oh yeah, we're great at Chris. One of the demon lords, who I believe to be Baphomet, has discovered this quite by accident. When he was pulled through to this plane, he tore a portion of his realm and brought it with him. You'll encounter this maze that has sprung up around it, but has properties that he did not expect. This maze engine has the power to alter reality forever. If he ever figures out how to use it, well, we won't have time to complete my ritual. So we need to go into the maze, get the items, defeat Baphomet, bring the items back to you to complete the spell. That about sums it up. Oh, piece of cake. We, do we, uh, we can take Baffy. Do we destroy the maze engine? Or... You need to take control of it. What you do with it, <clears throat> up to you. I could care less about it. Is it like a physical thing to take control of? It is a thing that you can interact with. This reality manipulation device you can physically control with your will. Should it be strong enough? If your will is not strong, well, you might get lost to eternity. Small point there. So, <laughs> if we're going to be going into this place of madness, what do we have to protect our minds? I mean, lost cause over here. <laughs> but the rest of us might have a fighting chance. Also, this wee little spider thing on my face. Any chance we could remove that? It's uh, cramping my style. <laughs> I think it looks pretty all right. I mean, it's, aside uh, from the bad stuff that happens, if you just apologize or whatever, she will give you, like, the blessings instead. I'm writhing with jealousy inside because it looks so fucking cool. <laughs> you would like to apologize? I'm not sure my lady would be so receptive, but I can arrange that. It could be a star, you know? You you build trust over time. <laughs> I I apologize, and look. I would I'm never remove such a thing and alive. as Loth has decreed oh. that you be cursed <laughs> for whatever you did. You royally pissed her off. <laughs> I think it was slightly deserved. I mean, she could have outright killed you, but she did not. See? Well, you know, it's, it's more the people that were working under her I had the problem with. Yeah, they were assholes, but still, you know? You know, I was going to upper management with my complaints. <laughs> not that I would ever remove such a curse, but if you were looking for something to do such, the maze engine might be your answer. See? What about the madness factor? Because I, I have my marbles, but again, slight problems over on yonder side. There's no silver in here, right? I like silver. You don't like silver? Protections, no, I can't offer you as much as uh, my efforts are being devoted towards the ritual. You see, I have to cast this every day until it is complete, which is why I'm here. This place offers a, a modicum of protection. Would one of your little uh, librarians there be able to, you know, float on over and find a nice little book? You could certainly spend months and months in here and try to find more information but that is only dwindling your time that you have to deal with Baphomet. And should he figure out how to use the maze engine, it will all be for naught. Of course, the five of us could live here for eternity, 
It would not affect you. Oh, does time not work here? Time does flow here. However, this place cannot be affected by the destruction of the material plane. Oh. In fact, it would be one of the last bastions of knowledge in the world. The planes, the universe, the everything. Oh, that's a lot. You know, as much as this place is pretty cool, I've got a pretty sweet boat, you guys. I <laughs> want to get back to it. So let's get the MacGuffin! Would you like to speak to Loth? As I said, I can arrange that. Or would you like to try other means of removal? Speak to Loth. Speak to Loth. I start <laughs> clapping all six of my hands quietly. <laughs> <laughs> speak to Loth. Speak to Loth. Fine. I'll, I'll, I'll speak to your spidery mistress now and issue an apology on behalf of a slight miscommunication and hope that uh, we can focus on other things. Very well. As uh, you see this Rand delve into his mind, several specters form around him as he pulls little orbs out of each of them as they fade away because he channels this into his spell. Speak now and she will hear you. Remember to use I feel statements. You can't argue with a feeling. I'd like to apologize for me temper when your, your followers killed me dog. <laughs> and forced me to eat it. I, I realize now I may have been a little sentimental about the whole thing, and I did not necessarily mean to deface your statue and pluck out your eyes with me knife. I apologize, truthfully. Are you rolling persuasion or deception? <laughs> uh... I am going to go uh, persuasion, I guess. Okay, let's uh, give it a roll. You can see like the, the shimmer of the orb this room is containing begins to rotate as spider webs begin to form around the outside of it. 18. 18. Uh, as the words are spoken through it, you hear, then prove yourself to me and make a statue in my honor and use the eyes of your dog to dot it. Okay. okay. The statue here in the library. Uh, there's nothing to communicate with anymore. Okay. It's for you to interpret. It will be done. It will be done. Mm, roll did, did only he hmm? hear that? Roll insight. No, you heard it as well. Okay, cool. Those two did not. He's just talking to Finn. Uh, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to dispute. As you're thinking about it too, you realize that's no longer fatal to your dog plucking out its eyes. Mm -hmm. You can procure new ones. Exactly. Robo dog. Um, I would say you got off pretty easy. And I like scuttle away. <laughs> 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 I don't like spiders. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Great. Then uh, come into my tower and I will send you to the maze. I can send you to the entrance of the maze. I can't put you inside of it. Also, I should mention there's a thing called the phaserus. I'm not sure you've seen it yet, but it is this pink and purple ethereal mist that phases in and out of this plane. Since the demon lords have come through here, they've brought this horrible substance with them. Does it hurt? Do not teleport in it. Oh. And you will be... Phased out? A pancake. Oh. Oh. Could we, like, harness it in some way? Could we, like, set Phaserus to stun? Or... <laughs> Certainly, if you know how to move it, yet I have not found a way myself. Wind cannot blow it. It cannot be bottled, nor consumed. It just leaves a mess. So, so are you saying we can walk through, we just can't uh, don't, pour through it? Don't teleport through it, and when you're casting magic, be extremely careful while you're in it. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. Only where it's concentrated, however, where you see a cloud of it that you step into, 
Should you cast magic while you're in there, who knows what will happen. Hmm. You have like magic that you put on yourself and just walking around with magic on, you walk through one of these things, are you gonna be like Let's experiment. Would you take this from me? Yes. It is a scrying orb. Yes. It will record anything that happens to you while you're in the face of us. And nothing else. So are you saying that if I take this and I blow up, you just will know for your own scientific reasons? And we'll have more information for the next folly hero to step into it. Oh, well, this seems like a lose-lose for me, but that's good for you. I'll put it in my pocket. It certainly uh, is. With an arcana check of 18, I'm like, oh, is that the orb of Go pro. You can put it on your head and you put it here. And you record stuff. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> In our next adventure, we'll be searching for Oopsel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Before we venture off, um, if we have a you know a bit of a, a rest after traveling for a month to get to the library, uh, I'd like to propose that I construct the statue, and in the statue, along with Morgus's eyes, which I'll have to leave behind, uh, I leave a sending stone in there to communicate with uh, Vizrin Devere. Is that? You could just give him the stone. I could, but I like the idea of that being so much. <laughs> Very well. It's like right at the top, he's got to put his head up against... <laughs> <laughs> Whatever brings him closer to his mistress. <laughs> uh, any other preparations you'd like to make before heading out? Yes, you, uh, you, as if you've had a long rest, please. So uh, your curse, as you complete this statue, you place the eyes of Morgus in place along with the standing stone, and you feel like a spider crawl across your face as it like bites into you. You recoil with the pain, and then you look into the mirror and see that the tattoo is gone. The mark of Loth has been removed. Excellent. Do I feel slightly extra rejuvenated? Yeah. The eight hit points that you lost are returned to you. <sighs> Jeez. That's better than some other things I've had. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, you know, when you go port to port, you end up having to do a lot of curing and... and in between sailing sessions. But the point is, you're healed now and don't do it again. Fine, I, I've learned my lesson not to mess with the arachnids. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> so easy, oh, so easy. Is that like spider walk? Do you have that? What is that called? Spider. Spider climb, spider yeah. And yeah. Well, he's a mug, so he's awesome. rolling. Of course. <laughs> I mean. I'm a monk, but now I'm a... Uh... Spidey monk. Yeah, it's a spidey, spidey monk. monk. Spidey. <laughs> That's what you're a spidey monk. Can. So going into Vizrin's tower, all. you see that there are five levels to it. He tells you you cannot go to the top level. That is where his bedroom is. He keeps private things. Very private things. We Much understand. like your dawn ring. Nobody wants to see what you got up there, but... <laughs> To 700 years, nothing surprises me anymore. <laughs> I, I bet you have to get into some real crazy shit to like get to that level. We understand. It's a lot of life. As a servant of Loth, that is amplified 10 times. <clears throat> I'm not going up there. <laughs> <laughs> that surprises me about you, friend. <laughs> I'm going to respect his private property and his personal space. Uh, you see that the second floor has a uh, lovely kitchen full of... <laughs> Enough to feed like thousands of people if it were mm -hmm. to be used in its full extent. You can see like uh, magically enchanted kitchenware, cooking things on the sides, other things getting thrown into portals as food is delivered at different places. You hear the ring of some sort of device, uh, and you can see that there's a goblin that is just holding a sack of gold that is just like whoop. Catching all the money that's coming through as food is being delivered across the realm. Shit, it's a magic Uber. <laughs> hey, Goblin. You got any like spaghetti or something? What do you want? Spaghetti. Spaghetti? Yeah. What kind? Do you want belly? Do you want uh, what kind of sauce? Like a cabanera. Oh. 
hits some magical like crystal as you see like um, the smell of bacon. And you can like see the words mm -hmm. go through the air as they're transmitted over to the kitchen where carbonara is then made for you. <gasps> no, and he holds out the bag of gold. <laughs> Oh, God damn it. <laughs> oh, the chip's so expensive. <laughs> how much do you put in? <laughs> how many am I putting in? Yeah, how much do you put in? Uh, how much money? Oh, gosh, how much How much does a cabinet cost in gold? Five? Uh. <laughs> you want to put five gold in? No, two? I don't know. Ah, panic. How much is a carbonara <laughs> in, in gold? D&D &D gold. Um, <laughs> it's not I, even the weirdest thing I've looked up I'm going to say roll insight. Is it surf with silverware? It's going to take your container. Uh, 18. 18. Uh, you get the feeling that like two silver is plenty for this order. <laughs> God damn That's it. Like Just like Uber. Uber. Um, <laughs> I give him two silver and then like another silver as a tip. You're touching silver? God damn it, no! <laughs> 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 boundaries and talking about personal items. There's uh, nothing bad in there, I promise. It's just money. I'll pull out five gold and put it in. <laughs> <laughs> what Whoa. am I supposed to do? Oh, you need change. And throws you change as silver <laughs> coins come your way. <laughs> use the shield of pariah to block it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you open like the box, five's gold and it <laughs> steams as like you've just lifted the kolosh off. It's perfectly fresh, <gasps> and as you bite in, it's creamy, and they actually use guanciale, and it's <laughs> divine. They don't use uh, uh, parm instead. Yeah, they use parm. Yeah, yeah, it's parm, parm egg yolk. Mm. Don't put cream. Who are you? Why do you do this? Chef Carnes. <laughs> Uh, Chef Carnes, what up? <laughs> Although, I do like a little pinch out in there sometimes instead of silicone jelly, but that's just me. Delicious. Not traditional. I nom that down, then I offer it if anyone wants some, some spaghetti. Some spag? Eh? Yeah, sure. It's like, like, Anducci's size. Like, like, or, or Anton's size. Oh, God. So. <laughs> I'm never going to be able to eat this all. There's so much. Pasta for days. Um, I'm okay. Uh, I only get hunger when she wants me to. <laughs> oh, wow, that's a demanding relationship. Yeah. yeah. I'm fighting demon lords. You don't want to pack carb up? Carb load, my man. Carb load. I can't. You see, like, invisible, like, or not invisible, but like, uh, transparent spider webs as if they're being woven ethereally across Ashari's <sighs> mouth. Like, like, I'm not! I'm not, not hungry not, time. I'm not! I'm not! It's fine. Uh, so of, weird. Would you like to carb load? Uh. I don't really do carbs. I'm strictly protein. Oh, God. <laughs> Can't keep the strength up unless it's I'm Don Bigger, like, shines Ro even brighter. Ro 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 <laughs> 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 oh, you're like on the caveman diet, aren't yeah. you? It's all raw nuts. Yeah. <laughs> Eating meat. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, I love it's that. It's a lot of mass. Uh, I love that. <laughs> Well, oh, I stick to my roots, my root vegetables. That's a little too uh, grainy for me. <laughs> the Just metal dog. My room, <laughs> the robotic Morgus. Morgus eats it. <laughs> <laughs> His gear is going to be like, clung, 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 clung. <laughs> That's going to come out weird later. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many tables over here that I can roll on. <laughs> roll, D-100. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Uh, we'll uh, see what's what happening you. inside your dog? Table, you know, it's, uh... Uh, you continue to ascend through the tower to the fourth level, where you see a arcane workshop has been set up by Vizran. You can see mm -hmm. his uh, magical circle uh, has been laid here. Uh, he uh, obscures the runes on it, so you cannot see um, how to get back here. It's simply a precaution. Nobody except me knows how to get in and out. It is my tower, after all. Well, how are we going to get back? There are ways. Like I said, you have that device, I'll be able to sense where you are. We also have the sending stone with them. Right. Sending stone. If both of those should fail, I will simply search for you. Uh, it shouldn't be too difficult. Mm -hmm. Well, this is lovely guys like stuffing past yeah. into my I'll knock something over like, clumsily. Like, oh, <laughs> <coming out> <laughs> uh, 
As you go, as you knock this thing over, it's this like magical like potpourri, <laughs> and as it spills out, it turns to liquid, and you see it pour out. Uh, as the liquid hits the floor, it turns instantly to glass and goes straight up as you have this like oh. shard. Hmm. As you see Vizaran reach over to it. <sighs> Apologies, I offered to clean it up, but it's... We can polish things later. Um. As he pushes it back to sand and then pours it back into the decanter as it re-transmogrifies uh, into potpourri. Holy fuck. That stays there. That's crazy. Cool. Yeah, that's now, cool. if we're yeah. ready to go, I can send you there. Rush. Let's go. Pasta and all. Yay! I don't have to take it to go back. You see him like swirl around again, and you see more of these like uh, spectral librarians like summoned to him as the seven of them float around hey, his vicinity. Hey, those hands. Don't worry, they won't hurt you much. <laughs> oh, <Please. laughs> okay. Much. Find out <laughs> at the maze. <laughs> as he as he takes each of their essences and pours it into his magic circle, each of you feel yourselves lift up ever so slightly, and then you get like a twisting sensation in your stomach as you're shrunk and compressed and then pop out. I need you all make cur- uh, constitution saves. Not oh, too much past him. Too much better. <laughs> too much better. Were you? <laughs> Brian, roll the d4 as well. Ah! Owie. Ooh. 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 Minus the d4 from your d20. Oh, no. Uh, for carbonarism. For carbonarism. Uh, <laughs> no, 12? 12. 12? Uh, yeah, you, you feel like a little, a little tight, a little loose, but you didn't eat, and, like you managed to hold it together. Tell, this isn't your first teleport. Brian? Four. Ooh. Oh. As you like rematerialize, you feel like you've like just hit into a wall as you just kind of like burp and you're like, I'm fine, ah. I'm fine. And then fine. you can't stop the cascade that is now flowing. Jim Charlie looks to you and is like, Oh man, I wish Shushar was here. Yeah. <laughs> ah, I'm just taking my head off and I'm puking into my head. See, like, Jim Jar is fine. He's he's good to go. How do we do? 18. 18? Yep, yeah, no problem. Uh, you look at Morgus. Morgus is. Yeah. It's fine. Okay. Uh, 17. 17. Good number. <laughs> <clears throat> As uh, you two rematerialize, you're just kind of like, oh yeah. Uh, your, your, your extra limbs kind of like help to balance you a little faster than the rest of them. All of a sudden, then, as you look around, you see that <laughs> there's no maze entrance here. You seem to be a little off target. Where, what is immediately around us? So you begin to gather your senses and see around you. You find yourselves in this narrow cavern uh, uh, that is uh, full of this, like, really dark green and purple, like, phosphorescence from the, the mosses that grow here. Uh, you can see Zuckwood uh, kind of like stuck as into like the sides of the rock where it doesn't usually grow. It usually grows out in the open where it's, it can get tall and large. Uh, the stuff looks like the rock is kind of like part of it and it's part of the rock and it, it's not right. Hmm. Oh. Looking further ahead, you see like that this, this uh, almost like a tunnel opens up into a larger cavern at the end. Uh, as you march forward, you see that this cavern is full of stalagmites and stalactites and columns of rock. And at the center, it's almost like daylight as a meadow stretches out in a perfect circle around. As you examine it, you see that there are eight statues with massive wings that span nine feet. And I'll get you all to make perception checks. Nine. Twenty-six. Twenty-six, okay. Uh, Nineteen. Nineteen, great. Twenty. Twenty. Uh, The three of you um, begin to, like, examine this grove a little more carefully. Dawnbringer is distracting you, is trying to make up a new song that is incredibly inappropriate for the time. Mm 
<clears throat> uh, uh, that being said, uh, as you feel like things kind of swirl around, you feel that inspiration pool that we all draw from getting to fill. You've, that extra oomph that you have. Uh, this is a re-roll in our game, so you've got one. But you also feel a sinister threat growing as this is far outweighing the little bit of inspiration that you may draw from. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone but, but Hobart, what you notice about these uh, angelic statues, that they seem to have been in the middle of a battle with something else, something that got away. Uh, some are mid-stroke. Others have, like, blood pouring from them that are frozen in space. Uh, many of them are in battle poses. Some look as if they had fallen from the sky, as if they were in flight when they turned to stone. Hmm. All around a central point. You can see, like, the ground is worn away here. There's no more rock. The metal has been pushed back in the center, as if, like, a large stone could be placed there uh, about three feet in diameter. Uh, what would you I think we think? found the center of the maze. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's easy. Can I investigate to see if uh, I, s I notice anything being, you know, dwarven? Uh, the rocks? Certainly, yeah. Stone cutting, give me, a, give me a history check with advantage. Uh... 19 plus uh, 6. So 25. That's huge. Uh, the stone that you recognize is the same stone that's all around you, as if, like, it had been pulled to these angels and frozen them into place, locked them in, flattening enough to cover their entire bodies. You figure, like, that's probably why this cavern is so large now. Okay. Do you think they're still alive in here? Like, we picked away at this rock. Is there anybody underneath? Um, I think if you picked away at the rock, you would just get rock, but then that's a person that could be unrocked, and that would be bad. Oh, yeah, because they wake up without, like, with no torso. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, well. Uh, can I cast a see invisibility on myself? See if there's anything. Mm, yes. Boop. Casting scene invisibility on yourself. Is that how you yourself. cast your spell? <laughs> Boink. If it's on you, it goes right to your chest and it stays way too long. What languages does Brian know? Uh, he knows abyssal, common, and undercommon. Oh, very nice. Uh, you see invisible runes highlight on each of their uh, foreheads. Oh, shit. And as you look closer, uh, you read them in abyssal. Mm -hmm. And it's the rune for stop. That's what I imagine abyssal sounds like. Uh, it says stop. Got a little, got some runes on the forehead that are kind of glowing in a thistle. Hmm. Stop is in the spell stop? How do we, how do we unstop? As you think further on this and translate stop several times for everyone, please roll a d8. Oh, God. Mm. Here's my d8. There it is. Uh, eight. Eight. Mm. Or like, oof, am I right? I don't know. Am I right? I, I, Are you? I don't know. <laughs> you're, you're Brian, the bard, the actor, sailor, bard, human thing. I can't believe you're here. My name is Zerard, and I will answer one of your questions. <gasps> Ask me about a specific goal, event, or activity that you wish to perform within a week. <gasps> Who said that? Zarad said that. Is Zarad a statue? <laughs> Uh, you get the sense that, yeah, it's a one of the statues. <gasps> oh, my God. And nobody else can hear this. Nobody else can hear this. Oh, my God, you guys. I know I'm a little bit crazy. <laughs> but the statue is talking to me. Its name is Zerad. <laughs> I, I mean... Is are, it are, telling are, you to hurt yourself or others? No, it's going to give us the exposition. Oh, great. <laughs> I, I mean, dwarves talk to rocks, but this is a bit strange for me. <laughs> oh, uh, Zerad, sir. Uh, what happened here? You hear no answer. Oh. Oh, did I burn it? 
God damn. You had one question you asked who it was. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. Asher had already told you. <laughs> That's so fucking funny. Oh. I want you to know his wisdom and his intelligence is pretty low. Yeah. <laughs> so what did they say? What was the exposition? That he's a statue. <laughs> I see. I'm not gonna lie, guys, I might have blown this one. <laughs> I don't think the statue talked. I'm just gonna go ahead and say that I don't think it talked. Yeah, it's fine. It's, it definitely talked. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, hang on a minute. Okay. I'm gonna walk. I would like to walk up You're to safe. the statue. Yeah. Uh, and go. <laughs> Hello? Roll a D8. Can I detect good or evil? You certainly can. Four. Uh, you hear in your mind. No, Drow, do not lose hope. And you feel like a flash of energy of something very inspiring. You have advantage on your next wisdom save. Okay. You can hold on to that until you have to make one. Hmm. So, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and say that this the statues do kind of talk. <gasps> I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. As you well, that... detect good and evil, <laughs> you get an overwhelming sense of good. Like the most good beings you've ever encountered in your entire life. But you also feel the mark of evil surrounding them. Whatever cast them in this stone mm. was quite evil itself. Mm. Rest easy, my stoned angels. We shall free. Uh, I don't suppose one of you is already pointing towards the maze. Uh, roll a d8. Fine. <laughs> so four, Smart. no eight. An eight. We roll. Seven. Yes, no. As you uh, feel this this pull, I need you to make a charisma save. You're cool enough. You're cool enough. You find out. 18. Yeah. Eight. You, you Eight. resist the effects of this charm. So I guess you would have oh, advantage. Oh, I'd have an advantage yes. moment. And 18 it is. <laughs> well, so Hobart Concade, as my mind tells me you are, and Dawnbringer, I've missed thee. What would you know? Ask, and I shall answer. For I am Temiel. I'll be so careful with this part. <laughs> Greetings. We wish to know the fastest route to the Mace Engine. Roll an intelligence save. Oh my god. <laughs> Three. Roll a d100. 34. Roll, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Flip a coin. <laughs> uh, you feel a burning in your mind as you see horrible images of the battle that just took place in front of you. A great fire demon has encapsulated each of them, making molten rock all around them as he pulled it together and sealed them inside. You can feel your flesh searing as you take 10 points of psychic damage. Oh no. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't hold that one back. Your answer, follow the maze to its heart. Follow your heart and the heart of Dawnbringer. I shall. And she'll never speak again. I am stuck here for eternity. As you feel the psychic connection break. Yeah. Ask him, ask him, ask him. Oh, you blew it on asking his name, didn't you? No, um. <laughs> it's awesome. It's awesome shit. That's um, some but... leftover pasta. You want some... oh. You look like you need some pasta. Did you teleport Sam. that pasta? Is there um, 
Is there a way to try and see if uh, I can find, you know, the rock can be removed safely? Uh, the rock. Or is it just a magical thing? It's just beyond us, my friend. Beyond Might us? Might be a lot. Okay. Uh, anybody else want to interact with these statues? You can um, go again. There's nothing preventing I mean, you. Can I go up to a different statue and be like, hi, I kind of fucked this up. But... Roll, roll a d6. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. One. One. Um... Uh, please make a wisdom save, Brian. As you touch the statue, oh. you feel this intense, overwhelming persona come over you. Eleven. Oh no! Oh, oh no! Aw, Brian! You fool! Uh, you take eleven <laughs> points of uh, psychic damage as the celestial name burns into your mind. <laughs> your name is now Anaya. <laughs> You are now Anaya, Sailor Actor Bard. Anaya! Sometimes, Sailor Actor Bard! Sometimes Celestial. Take my card. All right. Oh, it is it different. <laughs> That's fast. Anaya. I'm sorry, did your name just change? Yeah, my brain hurts. Okay. We should get out of here. Yeah. I think we should go, you know. Oh, was that Which a... way? Oh, I have advantage against. Does that. Does that nope. Cause... Okay, fair enough. Bye. No, like out of here and towards the labyrinth. We're, we're done with these? Yeah, Wait, fuck I this. Mean. They hurt. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, as you like kind of skirt the edge of the rest of them, trying not to interact, um, you remember in your minds uh, that Viseran asked you for some angel feathers as you collect those mm -hmm. on your way by. Okay. Oh. Oh. Are they made of feather or stone? Uh, as you uh, find them, they are feathered. They okay. Are no, there's a few that are stone that seem to have fallen off after the transformation, mm -hmm. but there are several that fell off before then. Okay. Yeah, in the bag. My past a takeaway box that is now empty in the box. Takeaway of holding? Yeah. The takeaway box. <laughs> it's okay, it's all recycled materials. <laughs> roll roll for yolk stain. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, gonna be a. Oh, it's that one on yolk stain. Yep. See what happens there. <laughs> Later during the ritual. <laughs> <laughs> this box is so greasy. <laughs> so as you uh, move past um, these fallen angels, these stoned angels, as you put it, uh, you continue down the path and you see not too far ahead, almost like a, an outcropping uh, before the path turns down, like this view of like several hundred feet below you, a massive, shifting stone labyrinth. This maze goes on for miles, what it looks like, mm. as this cavern is emptied out and before you, you can see like the path leading down and around to it. Uh, it will take you a few hours to kind of traverse, but you can get there. As you're looking at it though, you, you can't really get your bearings of this maze as it's constantly moving, these magical devices shifting and swirling through it. Mm. And as you head down and enter into the maze, uh, taking your first steps. Let's get survival checks. Oh. Now there's a skill I haven't rolled in a hundred years. Five. Thirteen. Thirteen. Sixteen. Mm, Nineteen. As you begin to head through the maze, you think of a few ways to kind of leave tracks for yourselves marking, using your memory. You see that it is shifting, however, and that you might have to change your thoughts on this as you head several feet in, but you come up to a larger space through the maze as you see this massive creature unearth itself and rear back, lightning crackling all along. I want each of you to make an action as you see it be here in front of you. This blue serpentine lizard creature uh, arcing lightning at you. Uh, how big is the space that we're in? Uh, you've got like a, a 30 foot radius to work with. How high? Uh, 30. Huge, like 200 feet? It All looks right, cool. like 200 feet. Cool, I'll jump. How high do you jump? How high do I jump? If I uh, spend a key point, I can jump my walking speed, right? Love it. 
So 60 feet in the air? Okay. So you jump 60 feet in the air, and as you get to about the 20 foot mark, you feel distorted. All of you can see is Shari, their limbs stretching and going to different places. You see their body split into six pieces as it reforms back in your original position. You take eight force damage. Oh. Okay, so don't jump. You hear your lady loth in your ear. Don't try to cheat the maze. Don't get that far. Yes, mistress. Okay, um. I will like step out in front, hold out my shield and click the immovable rod that is like the handle of my <laughs> shield and just kind of like get behind it. Okay. Is this an animal? This is an animal technically. It's a monstrosity. I'm thinking like in terms of like Animal Kingdom, not yeah. bestiary. Yeah. <laughs> By a million, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's under the Animal Kingdom, but it's a monster. Right, okay, is there any cover that I can hide behind? Uh, your friends, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Shuffle in behind, <laughs> ready in action. Mm-hmm. Uh, basically, I want you to describe how you're gonna take this thing down as a group. Oh, right. Oh. Oh, that's what you're asking. Um, that's a good, that's, that's a good like, initiative like start, but what does this look like as you like get into a battle with this thing? What are we doing to kill it? Or do you have another solution? What if I want to make friends with it? I want to like cast a um, charm? animal friendship. Mm. Or charm. I'll be... I mean, I, I got all that shit. Let's go. I've seen Brian 20s all end our, so let's go. <laughs> Animal friendship mm -hmm. is a wisdom save or a wisdom skill, but uh, yeah. you could certainly use your persuasion. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Light's getting real low there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, friend. It's just like lizard flicking. Yeah. And as it does, like static electricity fills the air. Your hair begins to frizz. No, 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 no. Shh, 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 shh. Ah, shh. Can I offer you some leftovers and pasta? <laughs> Shh. This and is how I make friends with help squirrels. Me with this? Help me. Um, I will cast Compel Duel. <laughs> <laughs> on, <Ryan? laughs> on me. <laughs> um, uh, on the behir. Yeah, so it's going to like tax look me. to charge you. Roll your persuasion check. All right. What else are we doing here? Um, uh, can I assist with the animal handling? Yeah. I'm like, this is really Take advantage, Brian. This is really <gasps> stupid, but okay. <laughs> 20, but not natural. 20 is pretty good. Uh, as the static electricity comes to like a head, all of your hair or the little spider fur that you now have uh, begins to stand on end and you see three little behir crawl out under, from underneath it and begin to make adorable little like <gasps> lightning sneezes. Uh, you see the Behir like mm -hmm. protectively encapsulate its babies as you negotiate some passage and yeah. get around it. We'll just be on our way. It's so nice to meet you. Oh, they're so cute. You are a great parent. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> More lightning just shoots off in a random direction yeah. around you. Yeah. Did, did you leave the pasta? We should leave the pasta. That was oh. part of the just, like, You yeah. dump some of the yeah. pasta. Yeah, oh. yeah, I take, yeah. Uh, yeah, and as, as you, like, get away from it, you look back and you see, like, Mother Behir, like, lets her babies go and just start to devour the pasta. You see them, like, frolicking in carbonara, little pieces of ponchale in the air, electrical sneezes going either way, and we'll be right back to find out what's in the rest of this maze after this break. More adorable creatures, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> they all like pasta. Welcome back, Questline D&D. We're here playing Out of the Abyss. If you haven't been watching and you're just joining us now, our party of heroes reunited on the surface, having escaped the Underdark and bumped into Brunner Battleheimer, who pushed them back down, recruited them into his army, and was like, go fight some chaotic forces down there. They fought for a foothold in Mantle Dareth. Ashare came back and shattered Frazers uh, from uh, coming back as a demon lord on this plane. 
and they continued their adventure going to Graven Hollow, where they gained knowledge that Vizran Devere, a drow wizard, is attempting to send back all the demon lords that are trying to destroy this plane of existence. He sent them through a little teleport, that little slight mishap, uh, maybe a little bit due to the phase risk, maybe a little bit due to a bad roll. Uh, but you got there in one piece. Uh, you encountered some angels and were uh, just talking to a adult Bahir who had some babies that you've fed. And now you've made it to the center of the maze. As you come around the final corner, you feel a little harried by things. You've seen some gruesome sights, but it's all led up into this moment, this foretold moment that Viseron had seen when he, and told you that he had seen as you each step out uh, from different directions. As you go, one of you goes through, you suddenly blink to the other side of this uh, uh, arena, as it were, as you see Baphomet at its center. <gasps> the demon lord yelling at you all in abyssal. You're too late! You haven't stopped anything yet! As he brings down a massive fist into the center, each of you, with different parts, Jim Jar, you, you lost track of him. He went somewhere. We're going to start off Convenient. right <laughs> here. Roll initiative. Holy shit. Here we go. Oh, Roll that's a, that is an initiative. Oh my. What do we have? 23. Sorry. I, forgot. I immediately forgot what I rolled. Um, 16. Oh, no, no. I've got uh, 18. 13 for me. Well, Brian, <laughs> you get our first first go of the game. You see that the maze engine, this incredible device that is almost ethereal. Like you can see, like Baphomet, like reach a hand through it, and then another hand is like on part of the metal of it, as like the entire device spans this entire arena that you're on. Uh, as he begins to manipulate it, what do you want to do? Well, how are we gonna do that? Um, I uh, oh, you're not right beside me. Um, okay, well, then I am going to uh, believe in myself and cast heroism on myself. <laughs> Great. Boop. And uh, <laughs> I'm going to take some evasive maneuvers. <laughs> <laughs> and just run serpentine back and forth to hope to avoid getting hit. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, so uh, casting heroism, bonus action, running around. Things are happening uh, as you see the, the engine begin to crank and turn. Uh, you see that the chat has redeemed something very special for all of you. As uh, one of the pieces fits into place, you can feel the rumble of things around you as something is very wrong as you're pulled out of this reality, all of you. Oh. You each find yourselves back in the very prison where this all began. You see your companions, Stool and uh, uh, Shushar, uh, as you see like the drow throwing slop, everyone is eating, enjoying floor soup together. <gasps> Topsy and Tervi are back, Raunt is bullying Stool. Everything is as it was. Oh my God, it was a dream. You look at your <laughs> selves and you're in rags from being in prison and you're level one. Hey. Welcome to the beginning of Out of the Abyss. Prisoners of the Drow, mm -hmm. once more. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Your spindly legs are no more. Mm -hmm. You've restored mind and body. Each of you. Shit. Wait. Each of us restored fully in mind and body? Well, it's a level one. Well, Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs over here is fine. Everyone's okay. back at level one. Yeah. What do you like to do? You see, like, Sushar and, and Stool eating. Uh, Raunt has now kicked Stool across the room as Stool like hits the wall and it gets knocked out. Uh, Brian, help me! Uh, is everybody within 30 feet of me? Uh, yeah. Can I cast Counter Charm? Uh, you're level one. Ah, damn it. Does that not level one thing? I guess not. <laughs> ah, so squishy. Uh, you don't have excuse to. Excuse me. And I'll like kind of like push, push. Whoa! Shove him right out of the way. You want a piece of this? Ron gets what Ron wants. Ah. Well, Ron wants a piece of this. You guys just like swing for you? And I'll just kind of look over to you and just be like, yeah. yep. 
Um, hey. Uh, you catch his fist because you know where it's going to go. Yeah. Sorry. <gasps> I just want you to know that we've done this b b b before. Rod doesn't know what you're talking about. Okay. Uh, and I'm just going <clears> to. <throat> I know, opera kind of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, waiting yeah, this time. Enough. As you like knock Ronch out, you know that his uh, resilience as a as an orc, he's gonna get back up, and you just knock him back down again this time. He's out cold. I'm gonna mm. slither up through the through the uh, legs to. Um, oh, a you saved me! Thank no! you. Give me a hit. <laughs> you got a hit. <laughs> so <good>. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Grinding my teeth over yeah. here. Yeah. Don't bring her, my love. <laughs> Not there. And Darren Dill walks over. Yes, well, I didn't realize our relationship had entered this part. Yeah, we're not there quite yet, but trust me, things will speed up quickly. <laughs> <laughs> what is the matter? <laughs> Companions, we were facing off against a demon lord. We yeah, still I remember are. that too. We still are, of course. And I'll like, Give Darren Hill a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Seth comes up. What are you doing talking to them? We're supposed to be together. You, you and I, the drow that are in prison together. Yeah, it's not quite like that. So yeah. I'm in prison because of some stuff that I did against the Mistress Loth, but I've since seen the error of, of, of my ways. Um, and I become uh, one of her most devout servants. Well, I am, even though it's not. She turned now. her back on me long ago. And you see his eyes are still not red. Yeah, okay, mm -hmm. look, here. As you, Scorgamore, hear Poopido going, mm, mind and flesh. Oh. What are you doing here? Adjustment. The two of us, we're not supposed to be here right now. I have found a new body for myself. I'm not here. You're not here. No, this cannot be. I'm in shackles once more. What did you do? Well, uh, you know, uh, we we went for a walk through a maze, and you know with great amazement, we're now here. We will just and he goes to stab you, and it's like you feel the blade pierce through. Reality shatters all around you, as once more you're back on the battlefield with the demon. Brian, you're running around making lots of noise. I love it. <laughs> Sure hope he doesn't attack me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stand still and I will feel you sunder. As you feel a hunter's mark cast on you as a, yeah. a massive target goes on your forehead. No, I'm so squeamish. In fact, it's like almost like a, a weird like semicircle halo situation. Mm -hmm. This like huge bullseye. Like it's just <laughs> way too big for your head. It's just not looking good on <clears throat> you. You see Baphomet. Boom! Charges towards you as he takes a few steps back okay. and knocks into you. No, evasive maneuvers. <laughs> dodge, dodge, just fail. Rolls on hardcore, your belly hardcore. And your legs. Just, oh. I, I'm very round. Can I just curl up into a ball and roll away? <laughs> Twenty-two to hit. Oh, please make yeah. a strength save. So I like you can't see from from your angle right now, but. Brian McDougal's head height is really unfortunate. Yeah. <laughs> right now. Or oh, is no. it? Or is it? Ah, oh, god damn it. <laughs> What's he charging with, you know? <laughs> uh, you get thrown against the wall, and you're like, <laughs> and you're like right into the stonework of it uh, as you take 43 points of bludgeoning damage. McDougal! Uh, that's a 20 something for 21 to concentration check there. Mm -hmm. Is heroism concentration? Mm, no, I don't think so. No, it's good. You're yeah, good. Heroism is concentration. Is it? Yeah. Hoop. Hang on a second here. Mm, oh, yeah, concentration up to one minute. You're right. Yeah. So, oh, 21. So I have to roll to that? Uh, yeah. Roll a con save. Oh, con save. Okay. Uh,. <laughs> That's a nine. There's a point of inspiration in that pool if you want to re-roll it, but it's the only point. Oh, would you allow me to use that? Go. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> don't die. Yes. Don't die. <laughs> don't die. <laughs> uh, 19? It turns harder. Still no? 19? Yeah. Uh, it does not save. Oh, 21 no. is the DC, because it's half of 43. God damn it. 
Uh, so heroism drops. Okay. Uh, thank you, Capri and Dump Truck, for that lovely redemption. Uh, Thanks. Uh, in addition to that, um, uh, as you take this hit, you see that like he's drawn this blade that he's carved across you as he charged into you. As you see, like the bullseye halo mm -hmm. lights up on the edge as like one mark shows there. <laughs> Throw two more. Yay. We'll move in along with another crank of the engine. Uh, as this happens, uh, you see uh, several effects all happen at once. Two of these like flaming like methods come out and explode next to Ashare and next to our paladin, uh, Kankade. Please make deck saves. Oh, okay. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Do I even? It's random. I determined it. It's... Uh, 13. 14. Saves. Oh. Uh, you both, four, only 14. <laughs> Well, well, well. Uh, I wish I'd had a higher DC. Uh, no, uh, you both uh, dodge these little flaming molten uh, things that have come from underneath. And as you look down, you realize that a great heat source has formed underneath this uh, uh, thing that you're on. Uh, as the engine cranks once more, you see pieces of it. This one? This one? Whoa. Falls through. Uh, no, no, hey! <laughs> Don't fall on me! <laughs> uh, as it falls through, you see hundreds of precious gemstones flying out from this hole that was created in that. Uh, does anyone want to try and catch them? It's your reaction. Uh, yeah. They look to be worth several thousand. A reaction? Yep. <laughs> Those are valuable. Or several right. thousand gold. They're also. Scorching hot. <laughs> uh, uh, it's quite cool. <laughs> <laughs> like a flat top stove. Are they, are they flying <laughs> right over top of Baphomet's head and raining down? It's just like a stream of like a burst, like like as if like a humpback whale had just projected a bunch of gemstones in the like, <laughs> yeah. top of the Yeah, I'll catch one. Marcus, uh, catch boy, yeah. fetch, fetch. Uh, yeah. Use your reactions, uh, make uh, deck saves. Let's see how many you can catch. Yeah, I mean, I forgot to do silvery barb, so. Or not, uh, uh, dex checks. I could catch so many with my arms, but it doesn't matter. Are you fucking kidding me? I roll natural one. Oh, God. <laughs> one lands in your eye, and it's the only one that's still hot. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> yeah, 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 jumping for things. And Baphomet's just looking at you, ready to strike again. 20. 20? Not a natural 20. Uh, yeah, you catch. Uh, Morgus catches. Morgus catches. 10 of them. Oh. You figure this is worth, uh, ten, uh, yeah, at least 5,000 platinum? <sighs> Who's the man now, dog? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. Gorgamore, you're up. Uh, all right. Um, so I, I really want to <laughs> cast Actually, um, uh, a great orb, but. Is he asking his dog, though? Like, <laughs> so I'm going to try and use the uh, enlarge reduce, reduce Baphomet. Reduce Baphomet? Yeah. Fascinating. Nope. Nope. 29 to save. All right. Uh, well, that was a uh, action, right? Yep. So I guess as my uh, bonus, I'm going to move towards... Uh, Kincaid a little bit. Uh, you're using your movement? You yeah. This way? Yeah, and Morgus will just follow. Uh, is it a bonus action to command your dog to move? Um, the dog's just going to use its turn for that. Cool. Uh, anything else? Um, I'm going to cast... Uh, well, I believe I can put it on... Uh, what is it? Uh, do, 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 do. Branding Smite uh, for my next hit, nice. next turn. Branding Smite sounds delicious. Okay, that's my turn. Okay, moving along in initiative order. Uh, Hobart, Kincaid! <laughs> Good luck! And I will um, use my action to drink the potion of fire giant strength. 
I'm increasing my strength to 25 yes. for one hour. Fuck oh, yeah. I will um, just kind of like, as I drink that, just and like just power jump like up onto this platform. Um, have, like Dawn bring her out. I will use that to cast um, with my bonus action, Shield of Faith on my choice within range. I will on, uh, on oh God, um, Anwa. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. I will cast, uh, I will cast on, uh, Shield of Faith on Anwa and use all of my movement to run right up to Baphomet. What does Shield of Faith do? Um, plus two AC. Oh, thanks. I'm so above, so below. <laughs> and then you punch him in the balls. <laughs> <laughs> and that is it. Um, my action, my boss action, and my move. Cool beans. Goodness gracious, are you both so far? Let's get our monk in here. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I am going to um, use my bonus action to unspindle my arms. Um, I think you don't have to use up your bonus action to that. You would have come into this knowing it's a battle. Okay, cool. Then fair. Awesome. Thank you. Then I will use my... Thank you for being honest. <laughs> then I will use my b b b b bonus action to um, essentially, like, uh, v v v v venomize them. Oh, yeah. Uh, and I will... I, too, will leap into battle. Try and squeeze in here and get in. Uh, yep. Yeah. Oh, just you're a, out of my shit. Um, in five feet, I, me and ten feet. It's pretty awesome. Uh, I don't need to be five feet up to him. I can be ten feet away from him. No. Okay. Um, and I'm going to do the thing I do. Uh, you have advantage. Uh, you've formed a trifecta with uh, <laughs> Naya and mm -hmm. <laughs> Hobart. Awesome. Cool. You got this. Yeah, uh, 21. Uh, to hit. 21 to hit. Okay. Mm. <clears throat> like you hit into it and you've never felt muscle like this before as you can't push through. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm gonna try again. Um, yeah, 18. 18 does not hit. Yeah. Um, Ooh, with advantage, H. Yeah, I rolled a nat one on that second one, so I'm like, go, go. Uh, but uh, it was a 10, so um, that those are, because I spent on the, the venomizing, that is my, um, that, that is my action. I can't give a, a bardic inspiration, but it's not my turn, right? It's a bonus nope. action. No. Okay. Yeah. Not that far. Yeah. I don't think. And I say, uh, "Hey guys, Someday. um, he's re really hard to hit." <laughs> and you're mine now, as he smacks down with the legendary action. Uh, thirty-two to hit. Thirty-two to hit. Yep. Yeah, man. Con save. Con save. Con save. Oh, that was not near happy damage. Not 20. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, no mark appears above your head. So Brian has one plus a hunter's mark. Nothing appears before his, uh, his weapon, Heart Cleaver, slashes through you. You can feel like as it hits, incredible pain as it sears across and then like knits itself together in incredible scar tissue. Okay. Uh, you take uh, 18 points of slashing damage, but no other things. Okay. Ow! Uh, top of the round, round two, Anaya. Okay, um, I'm like, hey, that's not very nice. So at uh, at level three, I'm gonna cast Dissonant Whispers. See how that goes. So that's, uh, Here we go again. <laughs> that's a uh, Wisdom 16 to save. Hmm. You know, sometimes you just don't roll well. <clears throat> I'm gonna burn a legendary resistance to not fail. 
We all write down. <laughs> That's one, motherfucker. Okay, so I want to succeed. Uh, you, got you don't move, have to move away, but I believe you take many, half man. the damage. So I will roll for a stat. Yep. So, uh, it's 20, so half of that, 10. 20? So, half to 10? Yeah, half to 10. And this is psychic? Yes. Ooh, so interesting. As, yeah, as a bonus action, I can't cast another spell, <clears throat> right? If I have, But if I have that as a thing, or is that, I can only cast one spell per round. I always uh, get confused with Yeah, that. you can only cast one leveled spell per round. You can add on top of that a cantrip, but the only bonus action cantrip that I can remember try is uh, Shillelagh. Yeah, Sorry. I don't have that. Uh, and you can't quicken your cantrip, so. Okay. Well, then I am going to take my uh, movement and get away from him, because yikes. Watch out. <laughs> I will. Are you sure you want to do that? Oh, God damn it! are you serious? We'll definitely <sighs> take an attack of opportunity. Ah, this guy sucks. Uh, yeah, he's sucking, though. <laughs> well, then I'll curl up into a ball and ready to myself to be hit again, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you're taking the attack or the attack of opportunity opportunity either way, mm-hmm. right? Well, you might only take one. If it's got multi-attack, then it can hit you multiple times. So like, you can't use you can't... multi-attack on attack of opportunity. No, I know. That's what I mean. Oh, right. So, so you could get away and yeah. threaten one or stay and getting three. And take three. It's getting away is your least dangerous option. All right, I'm going to bail. Bail, bail, bail. <laughs> well, I got to oh, gotta hit you. <laughs> Uh, How close boom, are they? Boom. You are like 10 feet from each other. Beautiful. Uh, <laughs> Gorgeous. 25 feet. Gorgeous. Oh, that, that fucking hits, yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, not enough. Uh, you take 25 points of slashing damage as Herc Cleaver carves through you. <laughs> That's two! Can I use Silvery Barbs as a reaction at yep. this moment? No! I rolled the exact same. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> okay, so how much damage am I taking? I mean, it teetered on the 20 a little longer that time, if that helps yeah. you feel better. God damn it. <clears throat> mm-hmm. uh, yeah, you, you, unless you can stop a 25 uh, from hitting you, that's uh, that's your reaction. But you can move away as soon yeah. you still yeah. up. How, we... how far are you going? How, how many, uh, I'll take my full movement to 30 feet, yep. but how, how, many, how much are you hitting me for? 20. Uh, yeah, 25 damage. 25, okay. Yep. No, I'm still up. It's the, yeah, sorry, it's the same. That's what it's oh, say. okay. So 25 yeah. to hit, and then it was 25 damage as well. Oh, so, God. You took 25. Damn. <laughs> Thank you. I need to go lick my wounds. Excuse me. Okay, let's crank that engine. Oh, fun, fun, fun. As the engine cranks, you see this incredible ethereal blue light as these fairies flitter out from each of it and boop each of you on the nose. Oh, that's Please roll a d6, each of you. Ouch. <clears throat> Three, six. Two. Six. Hmm. Uh, two. Please increase your deck score by two points. Your Ooh. ability has increased. Increase your constitution by two and increase your charismas by two. Oh. oh. How do I... Is there a way to do that on here? Uh, character editor, and then... Override. Oh, shit. Oh, I didn't mean to... Thanks, chat, for cranking that engine. As we're going to go into... Oh, dear, Baphomet's turn. Brian got away for Huge. now. Uh, oh, but I want Brian. <laughs> no, it's so squishy. See him go to uh, charge across at you, Brian. Uh, the two of you can make opportunity attacks. Charging you, yep. you two get opportunity attacks. I will take that strike. Before I go, either of you have Sentinel? No. Okay, then I will continue to move. Opportunity attack, all right, let's go, let's go. 24. Oh. Come on. Does hit. Fucker. Uh, higher than that, actually. Holy tamales. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, Hell yeah. Uh, uh, 23. Does it. Bong, motherfucker. Okay, cool, sorry. <clears throat> First time Baphomet's getting hit this uh, this combat. Uh, but let's hit Brian. No. <laughs> 29 to hit. 
Oh, God damn it, it hits. Uh, and I, well, right while I'm in the deep, but I've ruined my character sheet. Right. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Don't ask me to change things on here. You know I'm impossible technology. Uh, oh. Make a uh, constitution save, please. Is this a magic attack? Uh, nope. This is something of force. Oh, God damn it. He's so forceful. 22 radiant damage. 22 of radiant damage. Ooh. That was mean what, what I just did. Yeah, as you like slice there, he's just, just, but that just charges his rage up as he turns it into hitting Brian. 23. 23 to save? Yeah. Not enough. 25 is the save. <laughs> <laughs> As you get knocked into the wall once more, you take an additional uh, 17 points of bludgeoning damage. Yep, I'm down. Uh, oh, you're down. Oh, I'm down. Uh, also, if you do get back up, um, actually, yeah, we'll, we'll deal with that. Uh, your legs are broken. Ow. Both of them. <laughs> Compound fractures in multiple places. Oh, fuck. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, but yeah, I'm on the, the failure, the death saves now. Good luck, guys. <laughs> um... You take uh, 12 points of bludgeoning. 12, okay. I believe. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Magic sorry. Magic. No, uh, 12 points of f f force. Even better. Great. Um, and then I need you to make a DC 14 con save. That should be easy. <laughs> I can't fail that. <laughs> Great. It's fine. Everything's fine. I'm not mad. 20, but yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> Uh, and you don't do you take... do poison, extra poison damage for having your things, or that... If you fail the con, I believe. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, Brian. we'll have to do something. Yeah, Brian gets, like, not, like into the wall. I'm like, <laughs> you see, like, Brian's legs are in very obvious, like, deformity shapes uh, as you fall flat on your face. He's here is sad, but as the air exhales, my body goes, Hey! <laughs> 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 Fuck you, have advantage on your next book save. <laughs> Death save. Uh, oh, yeah, when yeah, we yeah. get to it, when we get to uh, it. Other modifier, so turn this back. Uh, Skogamore, you're up. Uh, cure wounds for Brian? I don't know. How no? I gotta change the tone. Um, I was going to go combat, but... Okay, that looks back to um, <clears throat> Yeah, I guess I'll try and cast cure wounds on, uh, on Brian. Get them into a bit of a better shape. Okay. Um, okay. So that's 2d8 uh, plus 4. So let's see. Can I borrow a d8? Tim, to the rescue. Sure. I got plenty. <laughs> Thank you. Use that one. Going on, a d8. Can you give me some, some healing action? Yeah, I'm oh, trying to secure wounds here. Bless your heart. I appreciate it. Oh, sorry, healing? Sorry, that one's only for Yeah, what level are you casting? I'm sorry. Here, 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 here. There you go. Uh, oh. It's finally caught up to me. Uh, 15 HP you get back. <gasps> Bless your heart. Okay, how do I get out of death? Brian, as you come to, you see that the final mark of Baphomet has set upon you. Oh, fuck. As your body reconfigures into a little, like, stubby minotaur. <gasps> oh my god, I'm so cute. You're no longer a human. <laughs> <laughs> no, Hello, so my so name happy. is Anaya. I'm a little, a little Minotaur. These are my cute little backwards knees. Still a sailor bard. <laughs> Still sailor bard. It's technically not their knees, it's their heels, but you get it. Yeah. Thank you. Someone wants this party to survive. Shadow Tiger puts back your point of inspiration into the pool, so it's actually starting to fill oh. up. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Give them more help, guys. <laughs> You've given me so many points. You get, they, they're giving you points? Like, uh, on repeat. What the? <laughs> Spamming. I well, get it. It was a carbonara. <laughs> the mob has spoken. Yeah. So, as we continue along, uh, Skogamore, bonus action, uh, Defender, what's that, what, What's going on? Um, I guess... Uh, I have no real bonus actions here, do I? No. Um, can I cast Firebolt as a, as a bonus? No, no, I don't think so. Uh, no, I got. Uh, uh, on D and D, but on there's like a little section for bonus yeah, actions. Okay, actually, oh, yeah, actually, yeah, bonus action. Uh, yeah, I got, I got nothing. I already have Branding Spike equipped. I just couldn't use it there, so. 
<laughs> Just my friend. <laughs> I, I, I keep it uh, keep it primed. Keep it primed. <laughs> okay. Appreciate the help. Um, uh, if that's your turn, then we'll move to Hobart. Are you alive? I'm alive. I have 15 hit points. And I'm a tiny, adorable little mentor. You're an artificer. Next time, uh, use your reaction. Uh, Flash of genius. You can, for saving throws like that, you can bolster them. Right. Never remember. Um, I will run and attack them, uh, standing on the other side. Um, actually, Shoot. no, I will run and like kind of land on the other side to try and get advantage with yeah, yeah. dudes. You have advantage here or down here. Or this menace. It's right huge. Here. Um, amazing. Um, and I will cast Aura, uh, no, uh, not Aura. Spirit Guardians, third level. Oh. Center around myself, so everybody within 15 feet. Hopefully that's mm. everybody that isn't Ashari. Yeah, I didn't. Ashari's uh, not there, but everyone else is. Spirit, yeah. Spirit Guardians, like the bonus action healing spell? No. No. Uh, Spirit the, Guardians, like the big, uh, big circle area, area effect. effect. Yes, the Paladin area effect. I'd say you can still like say like he's one of the creatures that can um, not be affected. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Um, So, yes. Um, Not affected. And then, yes, wisdom saving. Critical hit for a lot. Like 30 plus. Okay. Take half as much damage on 3d8. Radiance. Uh, 12 points of six. damage, so six. Oof. Um, and then in, uh... Yeah, he's just like, what, are you, what do your little spirit guardians look like? Uh, as I call them forward, uh, I just bring them, they're like little Darren Dills. Like Darren Dills, <laughs> <I was> like... <laughs> <laughs> you see, like, like, um, uh, Dawnbringer, like, a little bit jealous by this. Like, there, he's wielding a little mini Dawnbringer. exactly what yes. she does, like, <laughs> yeah, like, they, they like, yeah. increase, um, <laughs> Uh, the, the the little like weapons into like your yeah as that radiant too. damage takes effect they all form Dawnbringers love that um, cannon um, I think that is we've got some feelings to work out later no that is a concentration so that's it okay um, moving that uh, my jammer went so we're gonna roll on the maze engine once more and as we do so uh, I'm gonna roll a nineteen uh, you see like deep crimson light ashes forth the symbol of Baphomet getting overtaken by this light as red light bathes all of you as you turn into like these beings of red light and then reform into your shapes as your hit points are maximized. <gasps> Please heal back to full. Hey! Hey! Do, 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 do. <clears throat> Sorry. Lucky. Oh my gosh. What is that? Very lucky. That being said, it's legendary action time. Oh, God. Fuck you, Brian. Get that down. <laughs> <laughs> down you go. My name is it's Anaya. It's Anaya. <laughs> uh, Anaya, uh, uh, 28 to hit you. Oh, yeah. Uh, this time it's with the tusk. Is it like, tries to like, uh, Baphomet seeing like you're like a mini version of a Minotaur mm-hmm. is looking at you and like tries to lock horns in a playful, like gross way. And like just ends up goring you right in the stomach. Silvery bars? Oh yeah, you can yeah, 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 yeah. It's more. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. It's only gonna be it, only if you roll a one really is it ever gonna be uh below my AC, I imagine. Yeah, one is gonna miss, and uh, we'll see what the rest of them do. Uh it, it, give me the damage, please. Uh so that is uh only 14 points of piercing damage. Oh only. Only, oh, only. So uh, then we're moving along. Uh, Hobart, you just went, right? So, Ashari? Uh, yeah. Yes? Yes. 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 Okay. Um, I am going to... Uh, all right, I'm going to, like... Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to jump up so high where the labyrinth hurts me, uh, but I am, like, I'm going to, like, leap into... B- battle kind of like Spider-Man style. So, so like I 
spin a web against him that then pull my, myself in into the f fight, like in range, uh, but still 10 feet away from him. Mm -hmm. um, like this? Like so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to come down with uh, an attack. Hit it! Uh-oh. No. Oh, come on. It's a nat one. Yikes. Did you leave all your dice in Japan? No, they're here. I just took them with me. Uh, okay, well, at least you took them with you, so yeah. they're not, like, spiting you for that. No, no, no. <laughs> you um, enriched their lives. Yeah. But now they're like, <laughs> what? Jet lag? Yeah. <laughs> That's pro that's pro that's probably it. It is affecting me. In Japan, me. it's like on the other side. <laughs> 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 uh, that twenty. Seventeen there. hours uh, ahead. So they're good. Good numbers. I thought so too. Um, <laughs> all right, so that doesn't hit, and maybe maybe I get hurt, but uh, I'll keep attacking. Uh, that's not gonna hit either. Um, let's see. Let's see. 14. Uh, I'll spend a key point to do a flurry. Flurry it up. You're rolling with advantage, right? No. Roll with advantage. I'm rolling with advantage. Okay. okay. So that well, first it wasn't that one. It wasn't. Uh, it was a t t t 22. <gasps> yes, that hit. All right, cool. That's Just bomb. Barely. All right, that's the second hit was a 13 or 14. Uh, it's uh, no. still a 13 or f f 14. Flurry is going to be... The one hit. Uh, 16. Total? Yeah. Oosh. Advantage, yeah. advantage. Everything has advantage. Um, yeah. 22. Yes. Bomb. Did okay. it. That's and your then... number. Hit that number again. Fourteen. Fourteen uh, damage? But plus eight. Sorry. Oh, uh, yep. So that's three hits. Three total hits. Two, yep, let's go. Okay. And that is attack. Wait, wait, you know I totally get that, but like in order for that. That's your only chance of throwing. Uh, oh, Twenty-five points <laughs> yeah. of d d d okay. d d d damage. Yes. Um, and uh, could, uh, you're you're gonna beat the fourteen con save no matter what, it right? It doesn't. Yeah, unless someone can like bring it down, but I don't think they can right now. Um, could you roll a one? Even a one would save. Oh wow. Okay. Then um. Yeah, then yeah. I, I don't know how to bring down his con. So uh, yeah. Beans? <laughs> I don't. I don't have. Yeah. That's and it would have to land. And yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Then that is my turn. Yeah. So your monk just like swings into action. Uh, Ashari like swinging in on some webs, pummels through, and like usually you see like a smoking crater wherever they go. This time you just see like some slightly bruised muscles. <laughs> Takes it on the hey, but you brought me under 500 HP, so we're doing great. Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> Death by a thousand pecks. Oh my loaf! <clears throat> oh my loaf! <laughs> uh, okay, we have uh, reached another threshold. So as like uh, the maze engine continues to spin and twirl, more little fireballs shoot out, but not in the direction towards you. Uh, as another piece is fit into place uh, with a 45. Uh, it's the same. Uh, you see one of these go through as more yes, gemstones fly out of... <laughs> Who's down there? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Get it away, it's cursed! <laughs> uh, you see the gemstones flying out again. Thousands and thousands of platinum worth of gemstones. Does anyone want to use a reaction to grab some? Morgus! I burned, burned my reaction already. <laughs> Uh, that is a... Crap! 18. 18. Uh, yeah, you capture another 4,000 platinum worth of, uh, uh, gemstones. That's group pool, right? <laughs> <laughs> Some of us are busy being hit, okay? See ya, suckers. <laughs> Anaya. 
Yes. Minotaur. Yes. Uh, well, I'm going to cast Death Ward on myself. Because I see where this is going. Anaya the Minotaur might be the best part that Brian McDougal ever played. Am I still Minotaur-like? It's, yeah. Your species has changed. Awesome. Okay. We can work that out on D&D round later. And now. Yeah, I'm going to cast Death Ward on myself. Boop. Uh, kick, so... kick, kick, kick. No, I don't have that. Don't you fucking do that. <laughs> um, and uh, as a bonus action, I am going to cast healing. Or no, I'm going to give myself, uh, give, who's right beside me? I'm going to give somebody I some am. bardic inspiration. I'm going to give you some bardic inspiration. Fucking hit him. Um, and then I'm going to, uh, once again, attempt to bail. <laughs> uh, oh, you're going to run. Well, Are she within five feet of me? No. No, Anaya is not within. We're not sure what gender Anaya is yet. Right. It's still. Fluid. Yeah, it's more. <laughs> yep. Uh, it's like yet. it's almost like Ryan has like reached his final perfect form. <laughs> <laughs> and Ryan's just kind of like. <laughs> what are all of these? The region is still itchy. <laughs> How do I have a six fat really and a pot it. belly? What? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I've always this tells later. <laughs> TBD. Uh, I mean, I'm, yeah, as you run uh, 31 to hit. Oh my god, yes. Uh, again, like, I don't have, like, sense or anything. Can I do, a, once again, a reaction of silvery barbs? I'm just gonna keep doing this. Oh, on your, yeah, because it's your turn, so. Uh, is it even more? It's a crit, but it doesn't, yeah, it's disadvantage. So, yeah. At least it wasn't a crit. Yeah. It wasn't the cards, yeah. apparently. Yeah. Uh, you take um, uh, 17 points of bludgeoning damage. Good Jesus. number. Uh, but you do want to see run away. I'm happy about it. <laughs> uh, using your full movement, you can get like right, Thank right you. out of there. Thank you. And open right out in between the holes. Uh, yeah, yeah. Crap, I wanted to do something, but I never go over there. Uh, I'll just have to send somebody else. No, go away. <laughs> Fine. I'll do it myself. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Everyone else. That's exactly what we're going to do. No. 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 <laughs> no. no. You're not no. allowed to be happy. Stop that. Leans forward. Little dog. Guard my maze. I need you to make an intelligence save. Morgus. Spark expression. Oh, you get a plus two within 10 I feet of me. <laughs> Plus two on the intelligence save. Yep. It's a natural 20 anyways. What's the total, please? Uh, With the plus two. Plus two. Uh, it's a plus eight for me, and then another plus two, so plus 10, 30. It gets your intelligence save? It doesn't, the Steel Defender doesn't have its own? Oh, Steel Defender. Um, this isn't against you. This is against the Doggo. Oh no, the doggo! Morgus! I am dog O. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just got uh, Dex plus five. So it has a plus zero? Hmm? There's a plus zero for its intelligence save? Yeah. You needed at least a plus one. Can the Buttock Inspiration be used for the dog? No, but do you. I can you use my Flash of Genius. Use your reaction to grab gems. Okay, As Morgus is it. sent away from here and is pulled out of this existence. Shit. So I can't use Flash of Genius, fuck. Because you cast gems with your reaction. Yeah. Now you have to kill this guy. This is what happened with Wolf. <sighs> always taking well, the mines. All right, all right. The maze engine cranks once more as we come to initiative count 20, 65. What? You see, like, it, like another piece of it, like material, like become reality as like only a portion of it now, like less than a third of it is still shimmering with this, uh, like this, this etherealness. As this next piece locks in, you see it kind of like dim a little bit and then sputter as lots of like rainbow sparks fly out in all directions. It seems to be all it's doing right now. Mm. It's pretty. Uh, square more. What are we doing? No, the dog's away. Mm -hmm. uh, I lied. Chat is cranking that engine one more time as we move down the list. I mean, is there any way that we can... You're an artificer. 
If there's anyone who can figure it out, it's you. It's got the word engine in the name. I know. <laughs> um, this weird pan flute music begins to play all around you as the engine spins once more. <laughs> I knew it! I knew it'd be you! <laughs> Uh, yeah, Brian just like <laughs> reaches out her. and Don't ethereal like pan flute comes out and you're yeah. just like, I'm gonna take over the world. <laughs> As this happens, you feel invigorated. Uh, everybody roll a d12. D12. Rare boy. Yeah, yeah this is like barbarian music. Oh, 10. 10? 3. 3. 11. 11? 8. 8. All of you have that many temporary hit points. <gasps> hey! Is this a chat thing? Nope. Oh, kind of, yeah. Thanks, Chad. Technically. Thank you, Chad. Uh, they crank the engine one more time, bringing us ever closer to our conclusion. Oh, oh no. Okay. Oh, Chad. <clears throat> um, <laughs> <laughs> I guess uh, before I do any other action, can I investigate to s the engine to see if there's a way to stall it? Yeah, uh, make uh, an Arcana check. Arcana. DC is 20. There should be a good one for Arctic Inspiration. Or Flash of Genius. Or that. Uh, I'm gonna flash a genius that. Uh, how, no, it's not a reroll. It's add oh. your intelligence modifier. Oh. Uh, what were you at? Six. six. And then my intelligence modifier is plus eight. Uh, so. Uh, uh, eight is for Arcana, but what is your intelligence like modifier? Not not the. Oh, your skill. Straight. Not the skill. So eight plus six is fourteen. So you would add what was that? Three. What's your your your, your, your int? Modifier. Oh, my modifier uh, is going to be plus four. Plus four. Yeah. Uh, so with the plus four on top of 16, that's 20. Okay. Right? Six? Yeah. Yep. Wait, yeah. Six, 20. eight is 14 and 20. With, yes. No, that's 18. 18. Plus four. Bardic inspiration. Not quite. Bar bardic inspiration? Do you have a bardic inspiration? Yeah, I gave him bardic inspiration. Then you can use a bardic inspiration. Do it. All right. Don't roll a one. You're going to fuck this up. That was another nice. six. Okay. There you go. Okay, that yeah. is enough. <laughs> as you go and manipulate, you realize that as you're like trying to find a way to manipulate it, you already are, and you crank it forward once more. Please roll a d100. Sick. You get to roll so many dice. That's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh. Uh, uh, that's gonna be thirty. Thirty. Do 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 do. No, that's an evil laugh. Uh, this is this is unfortunate. As uh, the engine finishes cranking, green light shoots out across the entirety, and you, Hobart, you hear, no, no, not that. Why? It's Prince Darren now, looking feral as ever, appears out of the ether and slashes at you. Baphomet is actually supposed to go next, because yeah. Naya got away. Uh, no, Baphomet sent your dog uh, yeah. to oblivion. Some sort of crazy maze. Uh, that means it is Coat Noir's turn. All right. Uh, you interacted with the maze. The maze. Right? I did a, a arcane on that. Yes. So that is your action. Uh, bonus action. Movement. What you got? Um, I am going to... I guess uh, hold fast and, and brace myself for whatever Baphomet may do. If I'm in, in, in Baphomet's uh, attention span. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to use my legendary action to Baphomet's gonna, don't touch that, that's mine! He hits into the engine. He's gonna damage his own engine? No. Lord. Uh, as he hits into it, you see it crack apart a little bit, and brilliant white light shines across the entire spectrum of this area. Everyone is blinded. Ah! Oh my god. My little mini tar eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Miniature eyes? Mini tar. Mini tar. Hobart. Uh, you are blind for the moment. Um, oh, uh, wisdom <clears throat> save for the... Uh, oh, for his turn? Uh, 19? Damage <laughs> uh, 
Seven. Seven radiant, right? <laughs> yeah, more little Darendels. Now looking like kind of confused, looking at like Darendel over oh, there. Oh, it would hit that guy. It hit Darendel as well. Oh yeah, he yeah you, you didn't declare time. him. Uh, Darendel rolls to save. Seven fails. Takes uh, the damage. Hey, isn't that Darendel? Can only assume lies as such. Um, you you hear in your mind. Don't worry, we can still see! Just believe in the power of our light! And as Dawnbringer shines out further, you can see anywhere it lights, its light touches. So you have this like faint like outline of where things are. I got it down sight! <laughs> With the brightness of Dawnbringer, I shall write you back and smite you down to the demon hell in the abyss you've come from! And attack. You look like dinner! He's staring right at you, even through this bright light. I'm going to give him a smooch. Yeah, wallop him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, get him. Yeah, fuck him up. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, natural 19 for a uh, 30. Yeah, two, yeah. that'll hit. Fuck yeah. Um, all of it. Yeah. I will cast. A quick aside, have you been rolling the extra like uh, damage that Dawnbringer rolls? Uh, no. Uh, so because Dawnbringer is like a Sunblade, you get an right. additional two d eight, oh, um, and it turns yes, into yes, radiant yes. On my whenever three. you hit with it. So and then if you also smite, you add more things to it. Two d eight. So it's always rolling for its weapon damage plus two d eight plus whatever else you want to add in there. Eight d eight. Fuck yeah. All right, here we go. Yeah, he gets, he like staggers a little bit like. <sighs> oh yes, and uh, oh, Crusher, thanks for reminding me. Um, <laughs> Crusher, um, he must make a save. Uh, also take two more damage. Oh, all of that plus nine. Sorry, because of my actual yep. from Don. That sounds a little better. Um, yeah, that makes <clears throat> sense. 33 plus two, 35, um, and make 33, a 35, save. Yeah. Um, or be, like, knocked back by Crusher. Take bludgeoning damage. Um, What's the save, DC? Five feet when you hit. Oh, sorry, that's only on a critical. Oh, okay. That's good. Um, Did you add the D8 for him being a demon and smite? Uh, no. What's my score? Okay, sweet, man. Holy tamales, there's so much. <laughs> Paladins, tell ya. Um... Got me shook. Four. Okay. Uh, yeah, big old hit. That's one attack. Um, yeah, next one. Next one's Can't the best one. All of that. But I will. Unless I crit. No. Um, D26. Hits. Beautiful. So 10 D8. 6, 10, 11. Twelve, eighteen, uh, twenty-nine, two more, <laughs> two ones. Get out of here. <laughs> um, what did I say? Twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-one plus nine, forty. Radiant. That's huge. Nice. Forty radiant. Though. This time, Baphomet like goes like he's just like <laughs> reaches a hand out to like kind of stop it, thinking this is not gonna really hurt. And then you just slice through his palm uh, as demon blood sprays across the uh, uh, this entire altar. Uh, bonus, anything else? Um, no. Uh, the target sheds dim light until 
<laughs> it's just like, why am I shiny gluey? Mm. Sparkly. Moving along then, uh, legendary action. He's going to bonk you right back. Bonk. Perfect. 30. Hits. Uh, 17 plus 8 is 25 points of slashing damage as Heartbringer slices into you and you take a mark above your head. Okay. And then quickly, Dombringer scratches it out. <laughs> None of that! Oh. Oh. That's very sweet. Moving on in initiative order, Ashare. Mm -hmm. Hear that? Okay. Um, so... <laughs> I've been hearing it, but have I, I been know. It? I know. Oh crap! Con save. It's fine. Go. Who's making a con save? Me. For what? Hate hey, that. Mortis. All right. Um. So um. Morgus in the maze, you know, just making sure he's. Oh right, right, right. Um, alive. So I um. <laughs> I um. Uh, Roll the sixteen. Uh, I, I kind of like uh. <laughs> Bring my hands in and like focus them on my core, uh, and I say, "Spider Queen, give me your strength." And more chitin comes like out of my flesh and like covers me as I activate uh, the body of the astral self. Um, and then I'm going to attack. From that. somewhere, thousands of tiny spiders spread it across the, this uh, altar again, as many little lulls, uh have turned their gaze upon you. Am I still rolling at advantage? Uh, from where you are, yes. You've got Skorgamore. Okay. Sick. Uh... Twenty-five. Twenty-five hits. Mm -hmm. Uh, twenty. Mm -hmm. no. Okay. One. One. Uh, no. No. Dragon. Uh, one more key point for a flurry here. You look over and you see Anaya. Like your hunter's mark at Halo has disappeared. <gasps> Yay! Forgot to mention that. Earlier. Oh, awesome. Uh, Sorry. 24. Does hit. And. And uh, 25 again. 25 hits. That's three hits. Okay. Let's go. All right. So that is. Uh, 3d8 plus 12 again. 3d8 plus 12. Um, and with and then... the body of the astral self activated, I'm going to use my one per turn. Attack to deal an extra 1d8. More dates. Yeah. Um, uh, 23. Uh, he makes all of his concentration checks. Okay, moving along. Uh, after Shari is an eye at the top of the round. Hi. <laughs> I'm over here, standing over here going, gosh, it's nice not to be right beside him. <laughs> um, they haven't come after you this time. It's too far. I know, it's so nice. Uh, I'm going to attack with a chromatic orb. Ooh. Um, what type of damage? Using those magical secrets. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, um, cold damage. You sure about that? No, no, I'm not. Definitely not. Uh, Engine go. master to the rescue. Gonna go with lightning. No, hmm. I don't know what type of damage. <sighs> Radiant. No, oh, radiant's not a thing. It's uh, but... elemental damage, right? Hmm? Pick something weird. Maybe something that starts with A. Acid damage. Sure. Yeah. 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 Let's try acid damage. That's just an A. <laughs> Wait a minute. None of the other ones. Are <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Wait, no. Shari damage, obviously. Yeah, yeah, true, yeah. True, 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 true. No I'm longer elemental, damage. but... Okay, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to cast it at the uh, level three range. I'm going to roll that. Roll to hit. Yeah. So uh, does a 17 hey. hit. You want to no. do anything about I'm that? I'm going to do add, add my lucky. Oh, yeah, do. yeah, luck. Let's go. I know. I forgot I had it. Don't forget you can use it on enemies, too. So when an attack gets made against you, you can use lucky to make them re-roll. Yeah, I know. I'm really fucking this up. That's okay. Oh my god, it's a nat 20. Whoa! Let's crit that uh, massive chromatic orb. What does this look like? Okay, so it's like this green orb kind of like coming out of me. I'm like a cute little mini tar, and it's kind of just like cycling out of like my eyes and my pores and my hair. It's just kind of like funneling out of me like a viscous goo. And it's like... Yeah, it goes like cold for a second, shocks for a second. No, no, not the spring. Yeah, Yeah, as Brian goes, "Ah, ah, I don't know, panic, panic, panic. And he kind of like gets this and he just does like a ridiculous like, come (laughs) here, (laughs) man. Just out of a complete like, ha, 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 go. Little minotaur tail. Yeah, yeah like just pure panic is what that is. I don't know, I don't know, I'm terrified. As you crit, you feel the celestial body leave you as you return to being Brian. <gasps> oh my god, I'm Still fine. a minotaur, still a minotaur. Oh, but I'm not a Nami? But Nami? you're not a uh, Naya anymore. I'm Brian! <laughs> Brian McDougal! Pow! Yeah. Damage. Okay, so, uh, 26 for acid damage. Does that double, double? to 52 points Holy shit. of yes. acid damage? That's a massive hit. Yeah, that's huge. Uh, leaving that 40 in the dust. Mm-hmm. Holy Brian, uh, as you like smack this uh, viscous glob into Baphomet, he goes to like catch it and like can't quite do it. It's like, uh. no, we don't have more episodes for this. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and Next as, time as he gets blown this. back, you see like the light kind of fade and reveal as your noble dog oh. gets almost crushed by an Aphomet. <gasps> there he is! The pooch is back! Morgus! <laughs> Morgus is back, more. breaking his concentration. <gasps> Yay! So like a little tail wag, it's like holding like in its mouth like this sort of like gremlin creature it killed while I was oh. over there. Nice. Sweet. I mean, good job. Instance. Bonus action Instance. Instance. movement. Uh, I'm gonna stay where I am. <laughs> I don't think there's really anything that's going to be helpful for me as a bonus right now, being that I already cast a spell. Burning, burning. Oh, no, I need to roll this. They, they use them later. I need them. There's a plan. There's a plan. Oh. It's, it's okay. No, no. no. <laughs> I I need three. Okay. Yeah. Baphomet's gonna go, um, and Baphomet's gonna look around and go. You think you think you can survive this? Boom! Stomps on the ground uh, where you are right here, <laughs> and leaves himself on the edge. I need. Hopefully, I'll be able to catch you. But Ashari, uh, Doggo, <laughs> Morgus, and uh, Scorgamore to make deck saves to not fall plus through their two. doors. Every, if you're within ten feet, right. you get plus two. Okay. You say you do. Why did Next, I do this? Do your saves. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take a side. You're amazing. But it looked really cool when you did it. <laughs> it really did. It was really fun. I, I was like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> the stakes were so high. How do we do? Uh, Morgus got 16. I had 19. 16. 16 doesn't make it. <gasps> How'd you do? Uh, sorry. Um, 23. Yeah, with ease, you make it. Uh, as Morgus like <laughs> like blinks back into the, like its existence, looks to you, and you just manage to catch on and pull yourself up as you look down. You see 500 feet below you, hitting into the lava, your poor dog. Oh, we gotta stop killing this dog, dude. <laughs> as he's reduced to liquid metals and disappears. I surrender. I surrender. Do you want to like tear any more things out of a spider statue, maybe? Before we can go any further, we have to crank that engine because it is that time of the Crank that reality engine. 
my okay. Was when we both did the Terminator 2. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, well. How very interesting. I need all of you to roll d6s. No, Sam. <laughs> Just hearing a dog Four. say, I know now why you c- 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 cry. Four? Yeah. There's something I can't One? Do. One. Four. 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 Doesn't affect you, actually. Oh. Well, the rest of you, please burn that many spell slots. One spell the maze one. engine once again. <laughs> it's nearing completion. Can I choose the spell slot? Is it like level spell slots? No, you choose five per... levels worth. Hmm? A lot nicer. Okay. So like, actually, so with a five, effect. for example, you would burn like four first levels and a second level. Okay, I just got a one. So it's just or like one. three first level. Yeah. So one you only one. got one. Burn a lo- burn a first level spell slot. Oh, thank God. <laughs> okay. So yeah, it's le- it's le- like slots worth of mm-hmm. that many. It actually did affect me. I have some. Your uh, spell slot. I have some some preternatural. Sp- uh, well, they're cantrips, but uh, yeah. level one and level two. I have one level one, one. Level but those are dailies. Oh, okay. So, so it, 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 you're good. Doesn't count. You're good. Cool. Moving along in initiative order after Baphomet is Skokamore. Do I have advantage? From what? I don't think so. For, for me attacking, no. no. No, you do have Darren Dill clawing at you. Up in your face. Uh, and then you have Baphomet, who just nuked your dog. Yeah. 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 <laughs> blunderbuss. All right. First attack with the blunderbuss. Um, do the, the Sarah Connor, like, one <laughs> Yeah. <thing>. yeah. <laughs> uh, nice. 32 to hit. 32 does hit. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Can stop that. Big hit, Roll and that damage. With that, uh, I get two D6s for branding smite. And then I also get uh, two D8s. I need to borrow your damage D8s, please. Yeah. Here you go, bud. Send your kids to camp. <laughs> Don't Ooh. drop them off the pool. That's a different thing. Yeah, that's bad. That's bad. Um, Joe get it wrong all the time. <laughs> uh, that's fifteen on attack number one. Fifteen. And attack two. Uh, that's not gonna hit. It's a, it's a five. Bonus action. Uh, I'm gonna do. Branding smite again. Nice. Recharging your uh, blunderbuss. Oh, yeah. Powering it up. Mm-hmm. Um, as this is happening, though, we've passed one more time threshold, so the engine is going to crank once more. And uh, as a 97 is rolled, it clicks into place as the entire machine begins to rise up and everything swirling around it. All of the glyphs begin to form in your language. Mm. more as you were the last one to interact with it. As it clicks together for the final time, you see this wave shun out from all across, hitting all of you. Uh, if you're not from this plane, let me know right now. You, you're probably from plane. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I'm from... Brian's here to fuck. Like, how do you know? <laughs> Baphomet is in Pecky. As is Darren. Mm. As you see spidery webs, weave up and around each of them and pull them back into the abyss. What? Okay. The engine is completing as it begins to shake and rattle and roll. You see more pieces pop okay. out. What do you want to do? Fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it. We need to get out of here. You uh, see all of its support structure. This entire thing is coming down. You don't have long to get out. I would like to try t- to manipulate the engine. Uh, you go and manipulate the engine. What is everyone else doing? I'm going to support him manipulating the engine. Okay. And I'm going to come up to him and give him a boof of bardic inspiration okay. for that. Thank you. How does that work? 1d6? Uh, it's a d10. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I'm a high level bard, bitch. <laughs> you know what? I... Christmas save. Christmas save. What? Oh. Both of you. Christmas saves. Oh, is this a magic save? Or no? Yes. Thank you. 
Um, I, guess I have a, a stock advantage to my next. Oh, for wisdom. Wisdom, but, but I have plus two to my charisma from that 1d6 roll. Yeah, so your charisma permanently increased by two. Permanently increased by two, okay. Uh, on top of that, you have advantage on this roll. Okay, cool. You too, what are you doing? I will plunge Dawnbringer into the machine and like let it like hit She's it. She's going to resist you. And Stop! Like, like spin 14. in my hands kind of thing. Strength contest, she's gonna resist you. Okay, it's 14. I don't know why she's a she now, but oh. they're not. Natural 20 so plus my 25. You do it. Charisma save. And it like spins in the machine. I want to use channel divinity to try and heal Darendil wherever he is. Darendil is no longer on the point of existence. The machine, oh, okay. Well, that's what I did. I'm standing by to give Flash of Genius should they need it. I, uh, my wisdom, my charisma save was a nat- not natural twenty. Not natural, or was a natural? Not, not a natural. Twenty, just twenty. Just twenty. Saves. Okay. Um. So my charisma save is plus two now instead of plus one, uh, and I rolled a nat twenty. Twenty-two oh. saves. Oh uh, yeah. I mean, I wanted to heal Darendil. No charisma save. Oh charisma save. You hear from Dunbar? Well, I guess we'll go together if we're gonna go. Uh, 24. That saves. Uh, as you each like go to interact with the machine, the, ma- the maze engine shifts once more and goes to another dimension. Mm-hmm. As it almost pulled all of you in with it. Yeah. As the place continues to crumble, I need each of you to make dick saves and try to get out of here. Oh, God. Things are falling around you. This is a full on. Get out of the temple, Indy. What the heck? Okay. No! <laughs> I'm using lucky. <laughs> I'm not I'm not an advantage for the, the, this one. No, either. you're just a mark. <laughs> I use the pool. You're right. No! <laughs> I'm just a mark and... Yeah. Uh, Uh-oh. <laughs> Oh, everybody gets a two. Oh, no. Put on the MCR. Yeah, everybody stuff. gets a two if we're all within 10 feet. Plus two. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. 13. Two. We'll give that. We'll give 13. Can I spend my bardic inspo on, on this one? It's a d10 now. Oh, it's a d10 now. Haha, <laughs> I forgot. 13. Doesn't save. 13s don't save. 26. 26. So you're fine. Bye. Uh, okay, thanks. Bye. 15. <laughs> 15? Wait. Yes. Yes. 15 total? I rolled a two. <laughs> Just barely saves. Uh, as the two of you trip and fall, you begin to, you're about to plummet. When Dawnbringer spreads wings and is hovering in place, you got one more chance, one more deck save. <laughs> Brian, you smell terrific. <laughs> I smell like Cabanera. <laughs> and I miss and the last time. <laughs> did you say this was uh, Dex? Dex save? Yeah. Uh, Dex save now. Uh, and he, he passed with a 15? 14. Uh, plus two, 16. Made it. Also 16. <sighs> yeah, like Dawnbringer likes wings. They're barely like just flapping, which is just enough to like push you forward just a touch as you make it onto some solid land and join your companion. I love you, you beautiful goddamn sword. <laughs> it's a hammer. <laughs> oh, whatever you are. <laughs> it winks at you in sword form. <laughs> As you escape, you see behind you uh, and in front of you, kind of like a tunnel opening up all the way through the center of the maze. As you dash down it, you see everything just kind of crumbling behind you. And as you work your way back up to that vantage overlooking the entire area, you see all of it plummet 500 feet into lava. As now there's just this massive cavern, miles long, full of lava. Yeah, the floor is lava. Literally. <laughs> I will cast Lay on Hands on Brian. Oh. I'm not sure what you've done to yourself, but this is the best acting I've ever seen. <laughs> I'm now playing the important role of a midi tar. Uh, like Don Bring is like, me too, but doesn't have layout. <laughs> Bonk. <laughs> Horny <laughs> tail. <laughs> so as you make it to the edge and you're kind of just stunned by what's happened here, uh, 
uh, Vizran uh, appears in front of you in like a misty form. Well done, we have all the pieces now. I'm sending you a circle to step into, to return to the tower. Or don't, but then we'll do this without you and die. No, I'm getting in the fucking circle. As everyone steps in and comes back to the tower in Graven Hollow, or at least what you thought was Graven Hollow, but as you look out the window uh, of the second of the fourth story, you see that you are not in Graven Hollow, and Viseran has actually moved his tower once more. In front of you, you see Menzo Berenzan, capital of the Drow, home of Lolt's followers and everything. Hey. It's ah. good, you've made it. You have the last pieces. You've taken away Baphomet. We stopped the maze engine. Well done. Now for the final part of this plan. This is the focal point. This is where we must complete the ritual and have the remaining demon lords summoned here for a final battle. What makes this city of innocence? I wouldn't call them innocent. It was in, it was their mages that summoned the demon lords to this plane. Yeah, I remember that. They reached for too much power. They thought they could control them all. Alas. I don't know what Loth was thinking. And we shall conjure them here under the same presumptions? Like, look out the window, like, Ugh. Um, I don't think we're going to control them. I think we're just going to, like, let them fight. But that's just, I don't know. I think it's pretty, I think that's pretty smart. I mean, you you know it's smart. You're very smart. You're 700. You know, I'm On the surface world, this is the tale fight. of the four Tarasks. This is like that moment in your history. We bring the four together, and they have a battle. Yes, above the city, but don't you think it poetic justice that the mages that sought their very power, the populace that powered the spells to bring them through, don't you think that they should pay the ultimate price for this? No. <laughs> and what say the rest of you? Um, whatever Lamoth wants, you know? I think that's, that's pretty cool. All I know is, no. when Godzilla and Mothra fight, you get the fuck out of the way. You just let them duke it out in the streets of Tokyo. So. Why, why are you a minotaur? I don't know. <laughs> it's been a hard day. Would you like to not be a minotaur and go no, back to your old body? I kind of like this. I'm into it. <laughs> Very well. For now. Can I, can I come back to you on this later? I just, My tower I wanna... is always open to you, Brian I McDougal. Need, I just need a full day alone. To do some exploration. That's fine. <laughs> I will let you know my decision. I, in fact, need 24 hours to complete this ritual. While you stay within the tower, you are protected by its non-detection magics. The drow do not know we are here. I'm literally just walking away to the bathroom. Not what you're saying. <laughs> I, you go to like the luxury bathroom that's yeah. on like the third floor where like, the guest like, floor is. He's like, that's my bathroom. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, like Vizran, like go over to like a magical panel and maneuver a few things. Much better. Sound dampening on the third floor. <laughs> Japan actually has that. It's the t -t toilet play a song. Um, I've also turned the recordings off. We don't need that in our lives. <laughs> Wait, you take recordings of the bathrooms? No, you You're have. Not there. <laughs> you have the orb. Oh yeah. <laughs> just, the door opens and I just chuck it out. <laughs> Slam the door shut. <laughs> I'm doing some stuff in Discovery. Leave me alone. Well, what say you? Shall we have this final duke out here? Um, I... You, the four of you, will have to, in fact, fight the final one. I will support you from afar. I need to uh, convene with the m m m mistress before I make my final call. Very well. And you? Marcus, my dog. I lost another dog. <laughs> I cannot bring it back. I was able to see what happened. I can offer you materials for you to build a new one. Better, stronger. My head just pops out of the thing <laughs> and I say, hey, so there is that guy who made like Cabanera. Could you make like metal version of that so that he could eat that There's one room too? Room service, push the button. Yeah, I know, I just, so maybe he wants to try that one as a cabanera as well. Get so, a variation. Could you turn on the fan before you open the door again. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> so no, I'll, I'll uh, I say that uh, the drow dragged me and Morgus into this mess to begin with. If the city gets destroyed in the battle, so be it. So be it. You commune with both. Uh, Vizran offers you his personal shrine on the second floor. Uh, don't worry, the sound dampening is in effect. So we won't have any rattles. Um. <clears throat> <laughs> As uh, you sit back, you get wrapped up in like uh, uh, like a silky cocoon that you uh, are able to draw forth from the tips of your spidery appendages. Uh, and as you do so and enter complete darkness in your mind, you feel the presence of Walt upon you. Which guidance at this time? You're so close now. Yeah, um, I know that, uh, but it's just like your city like you know like i was like okay we can do like the good thing of defeating the d d demon lords but would it be an insult to you to destroy your city and you know develop followers in the process and like i just you know i just wanted to make sure that uh my path was the right one and stuff um but yeah i, I don't know i just i just wanted to say hey everyone. this is what those bandmates get for fucking with me. That city will be gone. And we have a new one. And I'll welcome you to it when you're done this task. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're good! <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, Hobart, would you like to do anything about this ritual? <laughs> Um, no, I will just kind of look longingly out into the city and just imagine what I've been told Therendil looks like as in, like, in his true elven form, like somewhere out in that city. And my like tears will like fall on the dawn rain as I just look out the window and they like completely. Yeah, this man comes over to you. I'm sorry about you, liege lord. The one you committed your duty to? There's something you should know, though. Something that was revealed to the library when he attempted to enter. I just kind of like look over my shoulder. Do your next words carefully, wizard. <laughs> though, I'm sorry to say it, but I must speak true. There was Don't no. Truth. <laughs> <laughs> My last In <laughs> this wizard's tower? No. <laughs> Counterspell, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> you just like try to magic and it's just like... Uh, uh, Dawnbringer goes like a little limp. <laughs> <laughs> Prince, there is no Prince Darendil. We checked our records. I'm afraid that slide was just... insane. He may have been a Quagoth, but he truly was a slad, turned into a Quagoth that believed he was a prince of the elves. Such random things happened down here, with all the phaserous around. Then the city burns. Well, that's it for the maze engine, and Baphomet as he's sent back to the abyss. We also saw the end of our dear sweet dog, Morgus. May he bark in peace until he's rebuilt once more from new parts and maybe a new soul. Next time on Questline, get ready for our finale of Out of the Abyss as our four heroes take on the Demon Lords in a battle royale. Thank you, Sam. Woo!